Yo, this is Senior G, telling you to tap in on Sundays to the Philosophy Show. Live at 12.30 p.m. Central Standard Time on SoldierByBlood.com. Home of underground entertainment and the voice of the movement. Make sure you tune in to the Philosophy Show, where all you have to do is pay for the tickets, and you just might learn something. Wednesday. At 10 a.m. Eastern Time on Culture Shock Radio, Kuzo FM, Watar Music, and the Tattoo Shock Radio. Remember, it still takes a village. We are Billis Global Network. Your number one source for exposure and promotion. You want to host your own podcast? SoldierByBlood.com. You want to know where the hottest artists are? SoldierByBlood.com You want real support? SoldierByBlood.com Go to SoldierByBlood.com for more info. Time equates to honor and respect and loyalty. <laughs> but a born snake, yeah. a born fake, uh-huh. can't operate outside its genetic code. Real That's rap. not how they were built. Yeah. If it ain't in them, oh. well, what else would you expect from them? Right. Jeffing up this cook up, grind time, no look up. Look for me, I've been booked up, now I'm the big fish they want to hook up. Yeah. Same change when I pull up. Scheme changes like mo bucks, lane changes like hold up. Used to know, but now I don't know us. I got the glow like showing up. Raw blue on my show chucks. Been dope since Robux. I'm in the psych war because I go nuts. Slice of turkey like co cuts. Mackers niggas couldn't hold us. Game changes like co crush. Got an appetite for this go rush. Niggas thought it wouldn't be us. Mad as hell when they see us. Mackers niggas wanna be us. They keep praying hard to defeat us. Been counted out my whole life. Count on my show price. Yeah. Fuck half, I want the whole slice. Yeah. Judge me, I need five uh-huh. mics. Top tier's my flow game. Yeah. Spark shit, I'm like propane. Yeah. Niggas are not who they proclaim. Yeah. Just ride the way to my flow uh-huh. chain. Set is dropping like boom boom. Yeah. Pass the niggas like zoom zoom. Yeah. Doubt me is like too soon. Yeah. The ways I make is like typhoon. Uh-huh. Another level like po show. Yeah. I'ma always hit my free throw. Yeah. Y'all boys niggas yeah. like Pojo. Yeah. Just mad we did it, no promo. Uh-huh. Y'all cash the checks, we just stack mo. Yeah. Wait to see how they act though. Yeah. Plan sees my rack grow. Yeah. I'm in the studio yeah. with my stack grow. Uh-huh. Looking for us, we passing them up. Wanna be the us, we smashing them up. In the two C, the popping the clutch. How you go low when our status is up? Ain't no need for flashing a buck. Uh-huh. Keep believing in God, we trust. Cause 
see is the reason we running them up. Y'all left out, no seat on the bus. Yeah, there you have it. Let's address this elephant in the room. Real niggas do real things. Yeah, stack brothers, bitch. Back on the Philosophy Show, it's 1230 noon here in the Lou. Shout out to all our supporters that's watching us, man. Okay. Hey, I'm here with the council. It's, it's just half of us right here right now. That's I know, okay. I know uh, Daddy Rich, he, he, at the, he at the church with his wife, man. So um, all praises up, you know. I, I'm thinking if I play uh, Saint Floyd's song, he, he'll, he'll be he'll walking through, like the, through the door soon. <laughs> <laughs> he'll come in like Batman. <laughs> but you know what? I'm here with my with my girl, Green Girl. So hey. you know we finna turn up, man, all day, every day. Hey. But um, this episode, man, I gotta, I gotta, man, it's it's, it's something special because i haven't really caught one of these i normally just be working and working and working working don't even pay attention to the episodes but this episode is our oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah our hundred episode a hundred so Shout out to all our supporters. I want to give a special shout out to the, all our guests who came through before today and after today. And also, I want to give a special, special, special shout outs to uh, my host that been been on the show. Um, I started off with my people Smoke, and um, I brought it to him because the the reason why we well the reason why I started this podcast was to talk about things people normally don't talk about yeah you know normally we talk about that offline because we don't want to hurt nobody feelings <laughs> you know and trying to keep it cute yeah but um I think we don't do a service to the people that's actually in our business by trying to not speak on it. Because I know it's been times with even with me and you, we'll be talking about things and we'll think we're the only ones thinking it. Oh my God. We just got through speaking about that. Like, I really have this assessment that every person or every entity that I know is, that is successful, they always have in the, in the back of their mind, like, it's a group of people somewhere, somehow, no matter what you're doing, no matter what industry, that they're mad at your motion. Mm-hmm. And you can tell they're mad at your emotion because you see the behaviors and the actions. But you know what? <laughs> it's the end of the year. I'm tired of worrying about being you being mad at my emotion. Baby, I'm coasting. Man. It's all good. And it's, and it's looking <laughs> so good. So good. So, uh, so we ain't even worried about who's mad anymore. We over there. We've established it. We, mm-hmm. we touched it. We dissected it. You know what? Cool. Yeah. I'm, I'm, and, and I'm gonna still talk about it, cool. you know, because I know it's people that's coming up that's getting this same thing, man. And I'm, I'm gonna talk about a few stories on my journey oh, to yeah. where I'm at to, to just put y'all in perspective of why I actually came up with the philosophy show. But um, again, I want to thank, uh, getting back to the to the host that I wanted to thank. Uh, smoke love man I, I hope i wish you come back and give us you know some some of that knowledge you always um used to give her man uh my boy bird shout out to you man you came in with with me and smoke and then you you did a stint with just me and smoke i mean with just me and you and then same floyd came in mm-hmm. shout out to same floyd mm-hmm. and then um i believe green girl was you here after daddy rich I believe I came after Daddy Rich. Okay. I feel like when I showed up, he was already a part of the show. Okay, so I, I believe Daddy Rich came in and filled, came in and became a, a you know, a, a staple here. And then, mm-hmm. um, last but not least, Green Girl Yay. came through and became part of the family. So Yay. I want to, um, I want to thank, thank you all for making this possible. Thank you. I appreciate. I appreciate the opportunity. I really 
Like we did that first interview at the beginning of the year, and I was like, "Cool, did a podcast, <laughs> cool, did a, you know, knock uh, that out." And then you extended another invitation. I was like, "Oh, they like me. <laughs> they really like me." Most definitely. Most definitely. <laughs> so that that for me is wonderful because, and we've talked about this before. Sometimes living out your dreams are not always big. So I remember mm-hmm. wanting to be on the radio when I was in my 20s and I seriously considered going to Umstool and all this other stuff and this is like a little piece of me living out what I always wanted to do oh, and man. that that just makes me happy that this is why this has such a special part in my heart oh dang all right all right so, yeah. <laughs> that's, what, that's what it's all about that's yeah. what it's all about man um well I think I'm not allowed to get on live right now. I've been trying to, and it, it doesn't even have an option for me anymore. I think oh, they yeah. took my live away from me. That's what they do. I've been there, done that. Even Facebook and all the social media yeah, behavior. Yeah, they took my live from me. I can't even get on live today. It's all good. Shut up. Shut up. Oh, shut no, you live. know I will. Man, they, 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 <laughs> I'll be seeing them commenting down there. They love us, man. Shout out Aww. to our supporters. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, um, I think before we get into the the topic that we're gonna be talking about, um, I'm gonna go ahead and um, share, and you can after after I'm done, you can share one of your stories. But I'm gonna start off with the very first uh, situation when I got into this game, um, and I swear, I, I I thought I was paranoid. I thought I was tripping. Even the person that I was with. Was kind of saying you giving them too much credit. You you did it did it did and this and that. And I'm like, I mean, so basically, I'm gonna say it like this. I jumped back in the game. I, I um, I got with this group of individuals in the underground who I used to fuck with before I stopped doing rap type shit. At mm-hmm. first, I was just an artist. Mm-hmm. So I came back in on the other end, wanting to get to where I'm at now, and that's do exposure and promoting. So I, I start dealing with um with this individual. Uh, y'all know who he is. Um, mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I just say AKA Rucker Puff. So I start dealing with with them, mm-hmm. all of them guys, and y'all know the. My thing is me talking about it. Y'all already know this shit. If you know, we done been through this shit. But my point of the situation was, you know. I was doing a lot of supporting of artists and people like Rucker Puff, people like Rebel Gang, they they did not respect that. So even going to the to the uh, I pretty much got played out of a hundred dollars to to get their hotels, which I really didn't get played because a hundred dollars ain't shit. I was really just being real proactive. So we okay. go out somewhere and don't nobody got no money and I got money to get it, I'ma do it. Right. But I would expect somebody to pay me back. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That didn't happen. And that's lame to me if you a boss. If you help me out boss wise, I'm gonna i I'm gonna give you I'm back your money. Yeah, I mean that's just real talk. So that was one uh flag I saw with that situation. The third the second situation which was the most craziest was it's just like me and you. Mm-hmm. We have our personal conversations. Mm-hmm. This not you, but this is the person I'm talking about. They're leading me into saying things. Oh, so you know, they like starting a conversation with you, but they baiting you. They baiting me because they know I'm real. They know yep. I'm passionate. Yep. So when I spoke that real and passionate, this person was recording me. Mm. And she was taking it back. And basically she was trying to, what you call it, blackmail me type shit. And I'm telling I, you know, I don't care about it because if I tell you something, I can I tell can it to whoever. Yeah. Like that's that's the thing that people don't bank <laughs> on. If I can say it to you, you think I didn't already say it to this person? Right. Nine times out of ten, I already said it, voiced it, made it clear, and this whatever they want to do with what what was said. Exactly. And I'm if I didn't say it, well, if I didn't say it to them, I, I have can. no problem I with saying can. it to them. <laughs> so um, that situation happened and. I had Louis Wood Radio. I had like four co-hosts on there, and all four of them co-hosts was haters. Damn! Like they, st- I did not have a clue. Damn! So 
when all that fell apart, we all we ain't gonna say fall apart. When all that crashed, and then I start seeing that like everybody around me was fake, like all of these. When you start most feeling the energy, people, yeah. when the energy start feeling fucked up, when people start saying weird shit to you out the blue, like yeah. unprovoked. Right. I've had the unprovoked conversations. I've had those like. Well, why are you saying this to me? I didn't even ask. Right. You're telling on yourself. I didn't ask at all. I didn't ask you what this person thought. I don't even know what their thoughts are. I didn't think of them at all today. Right. <laughs> right. So, my thing is, man, don't, if you feel, I mean, I, I, done, I done been around, I have not been around a lot of paranoid people in this game. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? A lot of the people that I've been around who on the same thing I'm on and on some real support, they say, like you said, we connected. We know when somebody on some bullshit because mm -hmm. we just don't move like that. Mm -hmm. And when they and when it goes out of line, it's like a what you call like a spider web. You know what I'm saying? You it can mean, feel it. It means something when like I've been in plenty of rooms and I don't really know anybody in the room. They might know me, but I might not know them. Mm -hmm. I've been in plenty of rooms and observed actions unfold and look around the room and I'm just looking at strangers that are. I could tell you thinking what I'm thinking. We all see the same thing. Yeah, yeah. And you generally, those are the people that I end up befriending or mm -hmm. fellowshipping with, I will say. Because everyone is not your friend. But True. you build a community a certain way. And when mm -hmm. everyone, okay, we all look at like, what, <laughs> what that nigga on? Right, right, <laughs> right, right, right. Is she okay? Is her emotions balanced? What's she on today? Right. And when we all looking the same, that's when I know, okay, I know who I'm dealing with. And when you see other folks flock to the shit mm. and, and eat it up, yeah, that, cool. Mm -hmm. I know what I know. Cool. All day. Good to know. Good right. to know. <laughs> so, I want to, um, and, and I try my best, and I hope, you know, Green Girl, St. Floyd, and Daddy Rich, I hope y'all hold me up to this because... This one thing I, I hate to do is to complain but don't have a positive thing to say after of it or move positive after of it. And I want to give thanks to 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 my supporters here at the Philosophy Show, uh, people like Rod Rico, people yep. like uh, 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 Ray Lay Down the Truth. Yep. You know what I'm saying? These individuals keep me grounded and let me know that I'm on the right path because we need that. We need to know that we are good. And let me also say this. Sometimes our supporters are people that we don't realize are our supporters. True. There are a lot of times where I'm in situations where I hear different things are, you know, they over there doing yeah, but you know what? Mm. I also see a, someone out of the left field that'll be like, but if he said it, Mm. That means something. Yeah. This person's not gonna speak out of turn for nothing. What you're not gonna do is play with them, and All I day. I respect that. All day. I've always been in a situation where you always gonna hear some shit or chatter about whoever. Right, right, right. <laughs> and I make it very clear it's my choice to be around who I want to be around. I go where I'm comfortable. I go where I feel welcome. I've never made that a secret. All so day. if I stop coming around and it ain't for business, then maybe it's because I didn't feel welcome. And whatever they have to say about a Tweezy. He ain't never, I ain't never had that problems. All day. <laughs> what did you do for this to be a problem? All day. Because, see, That's I'm one of those question. people. You got, <laughs> That's a good I'm question. I'm not a problem for anybody. So if you feel like Green Girl is a problem, what did you do to Green Girl for it to be a problem? All day. What was your role in the situation? And when people can't identify and articulate the answer, mm. now yeah. what you looking like? Exactly. You looking mm -hmm. like a clown now? Uh, you a super clown. Because you couldn't, you couldn't bring that to me. It's plenty of people. I'm in plenty of spaces, mm -hmm. and I call it like I see it. When you write, you write. When you wrong, you wrong. Mm -hmm. There have been people where they, you know, did you see what so and so did? Yeah, but so. <laughs> right, right, right. You know, and some things that happen, I don't even be mad at because I have to have a different mindset. Yeah. You know, oh well, did you see how they acted? Yeah, but were they sick? Where was they mental at? Right. Do we know if that person had anything before they got here? For real. It's a lot that goes into existing. Yeah. That's real. And <laughs> it's a lot. And, and my thing is, I'm slow to judge anybody, you know, until I have to. Right. You know it's a saying? lot of analyzing that goes into every action and every person that you're around. Mm -hmm. You got to analyze people. Most of the people like, here's, and I tell people this all the time. 
I didn't know who you all were when I won that yours award. I didn't know anybody. I didn't know um, I would even be nominated. None of that crossed my mind. Yeah. And that night at the awards, I held up so many signs. I talked to so many people I'd never spoken to before. And then next thing you know, opportunities were coming my way. Mm-hmm. Then I started seeing how that moved. And I really paid attention to how those relationships worked out, how they didn't work out, what mm-hmm. what was what. And I can honestly say, one day I sat back and I was like, Tweezy and them have been watching me for a minute. And I didn't even realize it. Mm-hmm. And I was like, but ain't nothing wrong with that. But I see that's how you move because I saw that's how you move with other people. And I was like, oh, that's how they did with me too. It worked out. Mm-hmm. That's what but we folks do. don't realize that you never know who's watching you and who's vetting you. And I've been True. vetted by a lot of people in very different spaces. Mm-hmm. And that you get, people don't even know that they know each other or that mm-hmm. I know them. But I've been vetted. Right, right. Heavily in very many spaces, and I'm proud to say that apparently I made the mark. Right. Hey. <laughs> hey. Because I'm here yeah. and I'm welcome. Mm-hmm. So I say that to say, like, folks, y'all don't know who is watching you and observing you, mm-hmm. and that's very important True. because people that are quality people are going to pay attention oh. different. For real. They're going to move different. They're going to observe different. They're going to approach you different. They're going to come with a full package. They're not going to be out of the blue with some bullshit. Exactly. Bullshit don't come out the blue. Bullshit be in your face. No doubt. Immediately. <laughs> no, no doubt. No doubt. <laughs> yes, so... I'm, I'm very grateful for this opportunity, and I'm, I'm grateful to have been around so many good people, and I don't think that people realize I'm, I deal with entertainment. I'm around entertainers all the time, and I'm not really an entertainer. Right. But I'm around them all the time. You'll be surprised who knows me. And half the time, I don't even be knowing that people are big. I just know you for you. Right, 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 right. And that's kind of cool. So I kind of like the fact that, you know, yeah. the girl be outside. I'm like, I'm doing that. I'm doing that. I'm doing that. I'm doing that. I'm Hey, make sure y'all come out to the Yours Awards, man. This year is going to be one of the biggest uh, award shows and one of the best award shows in the St. Louis metropolitan area. Um, the Green Girl a nominee. Um, St. Floyd got a nomination. Daddy Rich got a nomination. Uh, uh, shout out to 25 to Life. A lot mm-hmm. of good people been nominated. Um I don't want. I, I know who won. I ain't finna tell nobody. So y'all need to go there and go go to one one. Well, Westport Playhouse, Westport Plaza 635, Westport Plaza Drive. Make sure y'all come out and uh, support who supports you, man. Yeah, um, definitely. It's going down. We gonna go to a little break, man. We've been kicking it. Let's go to a break and then we are gonna come back with our topic of the day. Woo-hoo. Frenemies. Woo-hoo. Oh, frenemies. Where, where the boys at? We need them for this. <laughs> Man, come on. Jersey about to go bananas on this one. Coordination DJ's got the city on lock. This ain't what you want. 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 This ain't what you This ain't what you This ain't what you want. Go down, 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 go
about to get started. <laughs> well, you know, that that's part of the philosophies, man. This is something that we deal with even on our level oh, of fucking yeah. hate for no fucking reason. Yeah. So let's, because we, we always do this, and we ain't going to do this on the philosophy show. We had the greatest conversations offline. Uh-huh. Keep that shit going. Hold and we were just me. talking about... The, the hate on Sexy Red, I must tell, I done said this before, and I don't give a fuck what y'all say. I love Sexy Red. Cause she's As a, you should. Because she's more of what I've seen for real. And it ain't just, the you know, whatever y'all perception is of it. You know what I'm saying? My perception is, you can, I, that don't turn me off. 
I don't give a fuck what you're talking about. It don't turn none of them off. Hey, let, <laughs> let me tell you something. It didn't turn none of them off. It's the same people that can recite every Lil' Kim, every Trina, every Kaya, yeah. every yeah. name. They yeah. forgot when Nikki came out, she was talking about being what? a lesbian. We, we, we rude. I'm we so got sorry. right back into this <laughs> and we ain't tell, we ain't even introduced our Hi, people <laughs> who came through. Who was, who, we live already. Yeah, we, we live. live. We live, okay. baby. Yeah. So you, we got one of the people I think, Bird Bezel, in the place. What's up, Bird? <laughs> 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 Okay, All day. you came in with the burning hot topic, and we got started, you hear me? All day. Came All right. in with the energy. All right, all right, now we can get back to it. We had to celebrate my boy Bird here on the Woo-hoo. 100 episode, man. It's, it's family. We back, baby. Hey. We back. <laughs> but, yes, we can continue. continue okay, so what I was saying about Sexy Red, and you were mentioning, real. like, you don't care what nobody has to say. You love her as right. you should. Mm-hmm. These people out here are trying to make fools think pieces about her get the fuck out of here Man. because if you really worried about the world you wouldn't be worried about this specific <laughs> entertainer <laughs> who really came out with music for adult right. entertainment right. that's and mine no 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 that's yours this was mine okay. right she came out with music for adult entertainment mm. it is not our fault that y'all like adult entertainment Y'all really do. The porn numbers show it every day. So the more you act like a prude and pretend like you don't like it, them be the main ones that's making the videos with every project pack, every mm. juicy oh, joke. How many it. times have we seen the videos with the, the old white lady that she ain't got no business singing yeah. Juicy J, singing Juicy J, or singing WAP or whatever the yeah, hell? Yeah, we grew up listening to E-E-K all day to the day. Oh, you know, oh, you know, oh. Right. Killer music, you okay. know, all of that, you know. Right. We were shaking our ass to two live crew. Because uh, you can't party. play, it's your yeah. birthday. But now we old, now we want to be mature. Look at that shit she doing, look at that shit she doing. Change the channel. Man. All you got to do is keep scrolling. There's another. There's other artists out here that can, you know, entertain yeah. your spirit. You ain't True. stay locked in to some shit, and then you indulge in the conversation. Don't you know every time you put hashtag sexy red, you help a brother in the bank? And as you should. And these are the same people that still want to... <laughs> continue to blow up. Stop talking about them. True. Keep scrolling. True. Keep, you know what I'm saying? But you want, you want your input. You mm-hmm. want your attention. You want to say, uh, mm-hmm. this, 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 dirty, this, that. Right, what's up, what's up, what's up, Saint Floyd in the motherfucking <laughs> building? What's up, hey, what's up, what's up? Hey, 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 I love it. Look at it. Okay. Okay. This castle royalty right here. Okay. Hey, straight up. Bird business. What's up, man? Check this out. What's up, man? What's up, man? What's up family? Hey. We here. Now, tweet. Yeah, we up here talking about we love Sexy Red. Oh, man. We love her. I love man. her come up. I love her. Uh, 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 I just want to see how she pulled through. I think this is like that. What's the girl that was racing in the track? When they start talking about her. Uh, Shakari. Shakari, yeah. yeah. He's one of them things. He's Sexy just, Red going to be A-OK. Yeah, when they get through good. talking, we going to twerk on about our business. And first of all, people don't understand the business model. If you paying attention, look at everybody's business model. When Cardi came out ratchet. When Nikki came out yeah, ratchet. Yeah. Hell, even when Megan came out super ratchet. Yeah, Everybody's yeah, sophisticated yeah. than the motherfucker now. So, like, let's stop playing like it can't also happen. You got to pay attention to the model. When Kim came out, she was a little bit on the rough side as far as her lyrics and the shit she was talking about. And it grew and it grew. And then the motherfucker want to put her in... Uh, on runways and shit. Let's not act like that ain't what it is. Hell, if we want to take it a step further, since y'all so pressed about a tape, Kim K was just fixing fucking closets and she was the one that was organizing celebrity closets. She made a sex mm-hmm. tape. Next thing you know, this bitch is like, what? Yeah, she was per- Royalty. She was Paris per- 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 Hilton. Thank you. Uh, yeah, Thank you. But y'all uh, worried about some shit. You meanwhile, when y'all worried about a little sex tape, you hoes is out here on sex tapes, don't even know it all yeah, over Pornhub and don't even know it, oh. <laughs> don't nobody care about your motherfucking sex tape. What's your baby daddy? Okay. <laughs> and then it's always the man. people, man. You can get you can get somebody white or an artist come out and they do the same shit. You know, they're gonna get a little backlash from their people. 
But mm-hmm. not the whole entire fucking race. Because them people know how to keep scrolling and keep rolling. That right. ain't none of their business. But our, our whole motherfucking race got to get on one person. Oh, She's and bringing they from, down the and entire they from race. The right. no, the oh, fuck, no. She's doing. Listen, let me tell you something. And these are the same people who Retort. pretend like they didn't have their kids when they was young, like I did. Like, it ain't going over my head. Y'all right. love to play that. The grannies ain't grannies now, my bitch. No. Your granny was 30. Shut up. You don't want to talk about that part, do you? It was a short pocket where things was on the up and up on, on how things looked. Very small pocket of time. Everything else, it was regular. It was normal. They mad at her because of her opinion of Trump, but they didn't listen to why she had that opinion of Trump. It's shit like that that really makes me mad because y'all be mad at these young folks for their opinions when they telling you they truth yeah. and then be big mad at them when they don't want to talk to you and they say, fuck what you talking about. Yeah. That's why the little fellas, when they do shit that they do, you be so confused. <laughs> why is he doing this? And why he needs someone around him. Well, when they reach out to you, motherfuckers, y'all don't be trying to hear it. You ready to throw them to the dirt? I just seen a girl post a uh, pastor's body suit with some something something and said, don't get on her disrespecting me. I think that. I said, you mean to tell me she was disrespected to show her last <laughs> not to be disrespected. <laughs> I'm like, that backwards as fuck, man. Well, don't don't right. even care. But that's don't the, even care about it's the, it. It's, it's the same mindset with the, the fellas, too. It's like, y'all don't want nobody to say shit for the fuck shit you're doing, then, but you want us to see the fuck shit that you're doing. It doesn't make sense. Like, freedom don't mean that I got to watch your bullshit and be okay with it. I can switch the channel, but you want this attention so bad. Mm-hmm. Thirsty so bad. But can't nobody say two words to your stinking ass. Oh yeah, oh yeah, they big can time. Have it. They can have it. Hey, Let me go out we, here. Before we continue on, since we got everybody here, who we gonna go ahead and pop this bottle for the hundred? Okay. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, okay. Wait. Put your safety wait. glasses on. Right. Hey. Get <laughs> okay. I supposed to shake it first? Nah, you ain't supposed to shake nah, it. It's, it's going to do its own right. thing. You trying to do strip club shit. Yeah. Shake the motherfucker. <laughs> 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 hey. Yeah. All right. Fizzy, fizzy. Honey, episode. <laughs> y'all got y'all cups. I do. No, nah, I got it. Wait a minute. Right there, that's good. Listen, okay, so I'm gonna do this while you pouring. I apologize to anybody who felt um that I was a little handsy last night after drinking Duce. When I say, listen, listen, this is every customer that came to my table. All right, now what you need? What's going on? How you doing? I'm, I'm just. It wasn't that personal, y'all. I was just so I was at the HPG uh, bonfire. So we have not officially met. I'm Green Girl. Nice to meet you. So I'm in the cannabis industry. I work with everything. I work with CBD and I also work with THC. But this is the thing. I'm very much an advocate for medicinal use. I do think it's a lifestyle. But I'm with that rec time shit too. So I have to remind people don't get it fucked up. Now. I was at this bomb ass bonfire. Everybody, everybody was there. It was dope. And so I had my table set up, and one of the homegirls brought Duce through, but it was no, nothing to cut it. Not a Coca Cola. Yeah. So we was drinking it with no soda, no chasing, no nothing. And when I say I got warm, all right. And I, everybody that came over there, I'm how you doing? What you want? I got what you need. Yeah. I apologize. I apologize. It, it was Green Girl's fault. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was my alter ego, y'all. She ain't mean to step out. <laughs> my grill fell right behind you. Oh, no. I think it's in your seat, though. Oh, no. Can you stand up? I can. I just don't want to crush it. Oh, again. yeah, yeah. Because I need that before. Okay, so I'm out the way. What you drop over there? He dropped his grill. Where did y'all get him from? A grill. I seen you talking about barbecue. I'm like, hey, drop a grill. There, right there. I found it. <laughs> I like them shoes. Did y'all, y'all see it? Outfit was cute. Thank you. I appreciate it. Your grill to eat barbecue. 
Are you out of that smoke? How the smoke going? Smoke great, man. Smoke trying to, you know, he, 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 he employed over there with them people where he got a clock in, you know. You know, he can give so much time to so many people. Oh, man, you know. I know when I was working out, I was like, man, this shit right here. Yeah. You just, you, you go to work before you go to work because you got to get prepared for work. Okay. Oh, you got to stop whatever you're doing just so you can get some rest and some sleep and be rested up just so you can go clock in for somebody else. You know, like, man, that's what he's doing, man. He's trying to. Shout out to my boy Smoke, man. We gonna see you soon, bro. Your his birthday coming up soon. Yeah, yeah. Oh, both of y'all. Yeah, this y'all mutt. All day. All right. Now. I'm planning on, you know, I'm getting old. You know, them birthdays, they start getting, when you, after 40, all of you celebrated 40, 45, 50. You don't do that shit every year like you. <laughs> 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 shit, that's how shit. Then you start doing, with them birthday parties, man, it's like, you know, it's like, you spend all that money and damn near everybody come kicking with you have more fun than you. Yeah. You just spent all the damn money. Cause you gotta, no money on you gotta own. worry about right. work straight and make sure the vibe is yeah. right. And the whole yeah. point was for you to kick it. Everybody else to have fun. See, they the eight got in free. See, B O B. Let me. If they happy birthday, give you a dollar card from the dollar tree. Not a dollar card. Not a dollar card. Well, let me tell folks now. I want. I don't want to throw my own birthday party. Y'all better throw a party for me. I'm gonna act surprised every year, and if I don't see no party, I'm be even more fucking surprised. <laughs> Proving y'all don't love me. Be like, hey, I thought it was going to be a surprise now. party today. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, me? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, uh, dang. All right, y'all. Let's go ahead and get into the uh, the topic for the day. Last show, we discussed supporting our own. If y'all want to check that out, if y'all know, go back to the Flot Show on, on the Facebook or Soldier by Blood Television on YouTube. This week, we talking about Frenemies. Uh. Yeah. So Frenemy talk. Since we got our boy Bird up in this bitch, we're gonna start off with you, man. I'm gonna ask you what the definition. Oh shit. But you know I'm with them definitions. That's why we're gonna say it sounds like a frenemy is a hater. <laughs> mm. I, I can, I can, I'm Someone with you. That, 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 that hate that you have seen and wish that they can be in the place that you're in. Mm, 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 they don't mm, know mm. how to get something. They don't know how to, you know, people hate your, your, your character. They hate that other people love you and like you. Mm. They hate that, damn, how, why you always get 200 likes and I'm always getting five. Like <laughs> you know, all that shit going through their head, but they, they want to smile in your face. Really behind the, the back, yeah. You know, the income, the envy of position, mm. you know, all yeah. this shit that come along with being a good, productive citizen, right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Damn, how can I, how can I get, how can I be like them? I ain't got many family members in prison. Damn, if I make them back to my party, only five people gonna come. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, don't throw a party. Throw a get together. Right. Throw a kickback. Right. They ain't figured out strangers is where it's at. But, right. but, but, but friend of me, for me, it just, you know, as the, as the saying goes, keep your enemies close. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because if you let them stray too far away, it might be, you know, some type of salt in the game in the long run. You don't be knowing who did it, who did what. Yeah. Cause, you know, just like my... my Buff was doing the thing at the Merv store a few months ago, and somebody called in the Merv store, hated on him, talking about some rich. You know, the man ain't got no bad reviews. Mm. Somebody called in to the, the higher ups to get the man show canceled. And, you know, that's you fucked know, up. Said, hey, I don't know who the fuck called in on the goddamn me you at, you know? Right. That's somebody that want to be in your position. Mm-hmm. You popping like you is. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, trying to shut down your show because yeah. your, your showmanship is excellent. Mm-hmm. And everybody in your, you know, mm-hmm. fucking. That's crazy. You stand a friend of mine. But man. you got to keep them close. You got to watch who paying attention to you. What the saying go? Watch who clap for you when you win yep. and all that shit. Yeah. You got to watch. Yeah. <laughs> they throw some salt there. They're sexy Reggie. 
Man. <laughs> what well, um, green girl. Yes. What you what how do you what what is a friend of me to you? Can Before you? I even start explaining that y'all, I got this s'more snack mix. This is infused. Mm. Everybody have some. It's pretty tasty. Okay. okay. Get your son. Get up in there. <laughs> looky, looky, insane. <laughs> <laughs> you good, yeah, but you're not good. Stuff. <laughs> stuff. Yeah, good. yeah, and it's tasty. Yeah, Try that. Oh, that's good, good. I think I, I ain't seen it before, but I, <laughs> <laughs> so I dreamt about it one day, uh, and then I woke up. <laughs> so, frenemies. Frenemies, <laughs> it's somebody that they really want to be down. They really want to be down, but... It's something about you that, man, they wish they had it. Like you said, they they want to have what you have, and they don't really have a problem with you. That's why they want to be your friend. Mm -hmm. But because they want what you doing so bad, mm -hmm. it's always going to be like, all right, bitch, what you want today? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And that's why people are able to coexist. We got frenemies in our damn families. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's where they start. That is exactly where it starts. You you have been put with a cousin that you ain't really like. I don't know why the fuck I gotta be around your ugly ass. Like a friend of me, they really genuinely want to be your friend. See, an enemy that's different. They don't want nothing to do with you. Yeah, they yeah, don't want to accept the enemy for a friend of me because you know they don't like. They you. they you, know, you trying to figure that shit out. Yeah, because like they they want to be your friend so bad they really don't have a problem with you. Everything about you is great. It's just that they wish that everything about them was equally as great. Mm. And I've I've seen a lot of wow. my friends have this issue. You're doing this, and it ain't even that your success is on a big scale, but because they know your potential, mm. it bothers them. So now they're going to run out and try to do some shit that's very much similar, mm. and you're going to look back like, well, what the fuck are you doing? Is you taking notes, or is we cool, mm. or what? Mm. I've watched this happen a lot, mm. and a lot of folks don't know where their boundaries lie either. Mm. A lot of people will let you keep playing in their face because they weren't taught boundaries from their family and they weren't taught to let shit go, mm -hmm. leave it alone. We come from a culture of people that you sweep shit under the rug and you hide shit and you still be friends and be yeah, okay with it and this ain't that. that. We coming yeah. out of an awakening and we calling shit what it is. If you really want to be down, what is you doing? Right. Why does it look like you're a carbon copy? It's, mm, it's, man. A, it's the difference between working with you with wait each other. Wait a minute. <laughs> it's the difference between wait we work together, we do similar things, <laughs> and it looked like you took my whole motherfucking journal, baby. What's good? <laughs> wait a minute. Somebody speaking some truth. And, and the worst one is the ones that don't that don't even know they don't. Don't Ooh, even know. That's crazy. Listen. You, know, like, you, you just consistently just. Hey, you don't even know it. <laughs> You're acting like you. I don't, man. And it's, in, it's, in some, it's in some people's character. Just True. Because it's just a flaw about them. Mm -hmm. You don't even know it. Damn. But if you the type of person that noticed it, yeah. you're the type of person you get away. If, if you, them type that, 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 that don't notice it, that pretend you, don't keep pretending you ain't friend either. You better get your ass back. Man, mm -hmm. quick. I'm the worst <laughs> one, man. Mm -hmm. Man, same Floyd. What you what you think about frenemies, man? Guys, friend. Okay. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Pretenders. Pretenders, you know. It's just that's all it is. You ain't gotta pretend to be my friend. For real. Just be yourself. You well, know. And it's up to me if I'm gonna keep you closer, closer. Man. Real talk. What's the, what are you saying? So you ain't got a lot of kicky. You ain't got, you got a lot of kicky. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got a cap. Cap gun. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's all. The, the new, what we used to say back in the day, what, what was it before capping? <laughs> it was stunting. It was yeah, capping. Stun. Cape. 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 What was before stunting? Cape. Caping was for Cape. the Cape. women. Caping. 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 Okay. Where that from? That's from St. Louis. Caping. Yeah. Cabin saving them. Oh. Uh, that was E40 uh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> but, but it changed. It changed. Everything changed. Yeah. Everything changed. I don't know what it was before stunting, though. I forgot. Stunting. Flossing. 
Nah, Flossin, Flossin was Flossin after was Stun. Yeah. It was Flossin was. And Flossin is right, and Stun is just like <laughs> showing off. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, more showing yeah. off. Perfect. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Perpetrate. Yeah, there it go. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Damn. Throwback. Throwback. Showing <laughs> all my age. We throwing out all the old time. I don't want to say it, but damn. <laughs> perfect. Hey. Perfect. You know. Where my boy Rich at? He at church with his wife today. Oh, that's a good place to that's be. A that's a great place to be. Place to be. <laughs> hey, don't be, all I'm going to say, don't be stealing Daddy Rich from us. <laughs> <laughs> I already know how it begins. First you get married, then you're in church, and now it's over. I'm like, damn, Daddy Rich. That's it. <laughs> I, I, I'm just rich now. <laughs> <laughs> Shout, shout out to Rich and Chiago. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, um, from what I'm hearing is one of the characteristics of a uh, friend of me is envy. Am Very I, much am so. I, can, can somebody explain to me the um, the red flags of someone being a friend of me? Like, how Ooh. can you tell? Because you just invited them to the damn party and uh-uh. they ain't had to work, they ain't come. Uh-uh. No, it's when you see I'm doing well, and now you distant. Ooh, definitely, most definitely that. Ooh. You distant. Like, why you distant? Ooh. I thought you was gonna be happy for me. I wanted mm. to share this with you because you my peoples. Why you acting weird? Or I'm telling you some good news, and you looking at me funny. What you thinking about, bitch? Yeah. I'm happy. Yeah. Go. I just did this. Why your face yeah. screwed up? Yeah, man, it's a long <laughs> Going fucker. back to watch you clap for me when you when I, when I win. You know yeah. what I'm saying? How oh, come man. when I did this and, and you, you know screwed I mean? your face up? Now you trying to do the same thing? I had to teach my daughter, or my daughter learned a very valuable lesson. Someone very close to her, a relative, actually. She started doing this uh, a certain business, and that person did too. And when that person seen her doing well, they distanced themselves. And she said, I don't really care how close you are. The minute that you let me know that's what it is, it's done. Mm-hmm. And it'll never be the same again. So the family member seen the success of your daughter. Mm-hmm. So did they kind of veer off from their business adventure after then they start seeing the success of your daughter? Let See, her, that's another let problem. Let us move along. That's another problem. And then came back You mean to tell later. me you going to stop your success? Because you see mine's rising faster than yours. That's <laughs> well, that, 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 that is some fuck. You ain't finna stop me from doing my business because you moving faster. Right. And when I tell fuck you, and when I tell you she was, her feelings was hurt. She was like, I thought we were doing this together. Right. I thought that this was a together What thing. you saying? You want some of my clients? Fuck no, nah, I ain't finna no, go, go to my Go to my people. Thought, get they was gonna nah, open up, nah. thought they was going to open up something together. And this person seeing her doing well, seeing how she gets a lot of likes. First of all, my daughter is beautiful. I'm sorry. I, it ain't no way to wrap mm-hmm. that shit up. She fine. That's right. Mm-hmm. Y'all going to stay mad. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> For As real. you should. I'm, Man. Whatever. Hold on, and so me. anytime that you see someone man. that looks good and also makes what they're doing look effortless and it bothers you. So now when they came back like, oh, you know, I was going through what I was going through. She was like, that's cool. Mm. And that's cool. That's where she left it. Oh, so, But she stopped what she was doing because she, she ain't know what to do with that. Right. She's in her 20s. Right. I expect that. But now you started something different and now you got the mindset it don't matter what you think. I'm still going to do this. Mm-hmm. You doing it too? Great. Good luck for you. I'm still doing this. Mm-hmm. You want yours to look like mine? That's wonderful. But I'm not going to stop. And I hope you have success as well. But you can have it over there. You ain't got to have it over here. Oh, where man. where instead, instead of hating, what you should have been doing was taking notes. Man, that's what I'm saying. That's all the fuck you got to do. Sit back. Oh, you moving a little faster than me. Let me see how you doing it. Mm-hmm. Instead of going the opposite way, yeah. instead of hating on what you're doing, yeah. But you that, know, people I, that know know, and people these kids have a very hard lesson to learn. First of all, things are not, not as much black and white for them like it was for us. They got too much filter in between the truth and reality. We had a little filter. We had the filter of the powers that told us. They got mm-hmm. nothing but knowledge and can't figure out which part is right because mm-hmm. they got it coming from so many directions and two things can exist and be correct at the same time. So that's hard enough for these Too kids. Too much information. 
information yeah, overload. Yeah, yeah, I mm-hmm. swear to God. And they can't weed through it. So a lot of the lessons that we had that seem simple, they not as simple for them. Mm-hmm. Then Big Brother is their life. Mm-hmm. We look at Big Brother like it's a bad thing because we understand mm-hmm. it's a bad thing. Mm-hmm. Big Brother is their life. These babies are born in these phones. Mm-hmm. My damn five-year-old grandbaby can use a cell phone better than me. It got its negative and its positive. It does. But yeah. you got to use it for its positive. You and can't be in indulging in the negative, the negative, the negative, the mm-hmm. negative all the time. Cause it's going it it, to give you what you want yep. through hey. algorithms. Well, yep. let, well, let's, so, let's stick to the frenemy topic. I don't want to get too far I'm, I'm off sorry. of that, though. You know what I'm saying? But I what I was it. saying, I was saying that to say that they have so much to navigate through, they can't see a frenemy for what they are. Mm. And every example mm. that they have in pop culture, all of them still making money. Mm-hmm. They ain't figured out how to make the money off the bullshit yet. Mm. So frenemies look like a bad thing to us, but it could be a good thing financially if they know how to work it and they True. ain't figured it out yet. True. So that's why I say mm-hmm. it's a double-edged sword because <laughs> you want to keep the bullshit away, but at the same time, if you're smart and you can profit from it, you just got to learn how. All right, right, right. All right, all right. So on that note, um, I'm going to go with uh, Bird Bessel on this one. Have you had a friend of me? Uh, I believe so. It, it didn't. No, it didn't. I don't know if it was my. I don't know. <laughs> right? I don't know. Cause you, Do you only know been, one cause, for sure. Cause, 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 as somebody that that a recognize a hater mm-hmm. or a friend of me, you know, I I, I easily, you know, dismiss myself from those situations All to where I'm, I don't, you know. Yeah, yeah. Especially you can feel it. You have you have other people come up to you and ask you. Damn, man, you see how so and so them looking at you, mm. or how they, you know, how they moving. You got people on the outside looking in at you, letting you know motherfuckers hating on you. You ain't got to recognize it. Other people recognize it. Yeah. Oh, you be like, damn, straight up, like, and you'll start paying attention a little bit, and you'll recognize it a little bit, and you be like, I'm just staying my lane. You know what I'm saying? Oh, damn. When it sticks and stones don't break my bone. <laughs> Right. Words work never hurt me. <laughs> just don't, don't you ain't putting your hands on me or messing with my money. I don't give a fuck how you feel about me, All but day. you feel how you feel. But it's low. If you know how to take yourself out of out them of the environments situation. and situations, <laughs> and you know you are gonna get hated on. Period. Period. It don't matter. Yeah. <laughs> if people that don't even know you gonna yeah. hate on you. Yeah. But do you got a cast iron stomach? To take that shit, right. you know, when it hits you, and somebody tell you, "Oh, so and so don't like your hair," that's what your breath thing. They ain't never talked to you before. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn. Now I have a question for you, Sweezy. Go ahead. You know, we talk about the frenemies. We talk about you know these environments. But what happens when you get to a certain age and a certain level where? Now y'all ain't got shit with each other, and y'all kind of got to be friends. Damn. I, what what type relate, of situation? In life. In life. Like if Think you about it a, like this. Like, y'all been frenemies. You ain't. Because everybody that has a friend of me, they don't stop fucking with them. Mm. So, what happens when y'all reach an age, you get to the end of your 40s, you hit your 50s, and now and ain't nobody else around? Mm. What happens? Because I've seen. You grow up. And then everybody know how to act. You grow up, because it, it is, I, yeah. you got to put that out there, too. It is some frenemies out there that have became the best of friends. Okay. I've seen that, too. I've seen two motherfuckers that hated yeah. each other for a while. Now y'all hanging out tough. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, damn, how y'all do that? Can y'all, y'all got a class on that? Because it, it's more people out here, yeah. do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, But it'd it be a, a, what they call it? A, a, a line of communication mm. that they happened between both of them where an understanding took place and somebody said, girl, I, you know, I ain't know you felt like that about me or I ain't know mm. you feel like, girl, I really like you and I ain't know you really like me like that. Okay. I really like you. I'm glad you're being honest. And then some honesty start, you know, start coming out. I'm like, damn, blending. girl, okay. you want to come hang out? I ain't never wanted to invite you to my house before, but you can come on. <laughs> over. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it'd be like a, a barrier being broken between that. 
Mm-hmm. And know? do you think it's because now at this point and at this juncture, A, I respect you because I know if ain't nobody else can hang with this shit, hmm. I know that your ass could. Okay. And you can't hang around me if you can't. And B, do you think it's also a certain level of maturity? Like, you know what? That shit went about nothing, no way. That's something. That, what it be yeah. all about? What, 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 why we hate each other? <laughs> why? Yeah, what's the real Because you wore that, 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 that dress that one day, and I was finna buy it. Or uh, somebody was talking first. shit. Or somebody else <laughs> somebody said some shit. Somebody souped your head up. Yeah. yeah. Then souped your head up to believe something that mm. wasn't true. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's another thing you got to grow up on. You can't take the opinions of somebody else hate on somebody and hate Always. them too. They ain't do nothing to me. Because that's not uh, my job. Yeah, I don't know what y'all did. <laughs> yeah. But uh, they cool with me on this side. Yeah. Y'all and gonna that, have to work that shit out on my side because they just gave me a thousand dollars last week. Right. I ain't hate them right now. Right, and that, well, that's just my that thing I don't have too. To do with it. I, like, I can see both it. sides. It's been plenty of times where I can see where everybody, man. I see why this person feel this way, and I see why that person feel that way. Okay, so now what? Everybody really does believe that because there's a misunderstanding, that means that is the end. The end. There's nothing we can't yeah. see eye to eye because who the fuck told you that grits is supposed to be sweet? Like, right. but that's the reality of what we deal with and emotions and how people behave and how people treat one another mm-hmm. and then mm-hmm. we get to the MVP well yeah well my thing though even with that cause I know I done gave information on people and I and it could I can say if you talking if you giving criticism about somebody it could be taken as hate yep. so I always tell the person like if I got a problem with somebody I say hey this my issue with them but you do what the hell you want to do mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying I'm just if I fuck with you, if I don't even fuck with you, I ain't going to say shit because okay. I don't know you like that. Okay. But if I know you, then I'm going to tell you my side of it because sh- I think people should do that. Mm-hmm. I don't care if they get mad at you or not, at least you told them because nine times out of ten, if you the, if, if it happened to you and they kind of like you, they going to do it to you too. Yeah. You know? Then this, 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 I think uh, – I just want to mention what like another place of hate come from. Go ahead. It's like when you start succeeding, like you said with your daughter. When you start succeeding and people see you succeed as a friend, if uh, y'all gonna be spending less time together with that person succeed, you have to let that person go succeed. For real. Don't That's be real. hating this shit because you ain't in that position yet. And you know, like, yeah. like what she said, that take me with you type shit. Oh yeah, you doing good, you doing good. You know, mm-hmm. something like, you gotta lay on back and let that person do what they do. You know, so they can. Make I think it. it'd be a sense of, you know, if they blow up too high, they gonna forget about you. They forget well, about me. This, uh, you forgot about this, me. Man, you forget a, big now. It, forget about me. I'm gonna say it like that. <laughs> forget about me. No, but if you true friend, right, you can't And I'm rising, and you my straight true friend, and you you gave me that time, and you've been supporting me on the way. When I get up there, the door is open It's going to be open. But if I see you throwing salt in the game on my ride to the top, of course our friend, you know, just like the Nelly situation, all that, you know, Nelly, you know, that, you you know. Yeah. Yeah. That's (laughs) it, man. Man, my thing is, if if you a solid person within yourself, you're not going to think anybody leaving you, period. You're right. not thinking that. You ain't going to be on that. You're supporting. Yeah, you're just you, doing you what you're supposed to do. Yeah, and if they, I mean, if it happens, it just happens. You but still, see, that goes you know back what I'm saying? To, that also goes back to maybe you ain't doing shit you need something to do. Yeah. Get you something what, to what do. you say? Get you a dream. Get what you something to do. You ain't that? working. You ain't hungry you enough. You focus. You too focused on all, me. All uh, the people that you know I'm I saying? fuck <laughs> with. Yeah. All the people I fuck with, they got shit to do. Ain't nobody worried about where Green Girl at. My family already knew. When I said I'm starting something, they already know. It didn't matter if it was school or whatever. When I start something, you ain't going to hear from me. I'm busy. Mm-hmm. I got My mind is on this. And that's where it's like people act like they can handle that, but they can't because they ain't got shit else going on. Yeah. Talk too goddamn much. So you you trying to hold on to what the fuck I'm doing. You <laughs> you, you ain't even outside. You don't even want to come outside. I'm outside. Is this is where you want to be. For real. Like, you, you think you want to do this shit. Because when I give you that phone call the motherfucking 12, 30 morning, hey, I'm out at so-and-so and such-and-such. Such, you want to come? No. Uh, 
Yeah, no. I got the, uh, you was just talking about this shit about what you would do. Come on, let's roll. Right. Oh, Ow. yeah, I forgot. You got to work. You I got my dog. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you got a dog? Didn't oh, know. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Didn't know. Uh, all right, so a, a crazy question. Could a spouse be a friend of me? Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. some people That's the do. Worst ones do. Some <laughs> people will marry <laughs> for that with, fire. Sleeping with the enemy. They move off of this shit. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but straight up, yo, yo, significant other definitely can. What might have been okay one day might not be okay. That you might have met. Listen, yeah, we all real. saw Players Club. Old boy yeah, loved yeah. it when Diamond was diamonding <laughs> on him. But the minute that she got, she got a name for herself, and they liking what they see. Now you mad and you trying to sleep with her cousin. Nigga, she should have shot you. She should have shot you. This is why by the boom, this, by is, the bag. this is where uh, uh, alimony and divorce and <laughs> <laughs> this is the double. Friend, they, now they got a law. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, here we go. <laughs> now, that, that should answer your question right there. <laughs> like, shit. You, be, you thought you was, this was going to be your number one, your soulmate <laughs> for the rest of your life. <laughs> right. Y'all right. in the course and kids and all of this. Mm. Now you my number one enemy. I'm talking about number one. Yeah. Used to be my supporter. Man. Now look at you. Want it all. A- a a fool. Scared to get. And then another question. We, we done with this topic. <laughs> <laughs> I got a topic too. He ready to shake the table. <laughs> well, I want to get this yeah, though. I I want a pencil and a pen, and I don't want to forget you. Know I'm sure. I want to. I want to. Uh, I got a pencil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to, cause I want people to get to understand this. So if somebody watching this, I want them to be able to spot a friend of me and actually know what they are and all of that. So that's why I asked, have you ever had one? So you can explain who who it was. You know what I'm saying? Or the characteristics of it. But I know I had I had two frenemies in my life. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And they was young. I don't know the older ones. I know one was an old man, but mm-hmm. we ain't going to speak on that. But, hey, uh. <laughs> you were a kid with a old man? No, no. I was. This is now. I'm talking oh, okay, about okay. Uh, personally now. But back in the day, I had frenemies. That's how I learned what a frenemy was. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it was this one dude who asked to wear my motherfucking shoes. And he, you know, I'm, I don't know. I guess I didn't really. Whatever, I didn't think he was gonna give me back my shoes all fucked up. Wow. <laughs> that's that's what and then I'm look I'm like, okay, that's a friend of me. He's a friend just to that do. Wasn't, that wasn't even no new shoes. Man, man, my <laughs> man. He brought back my shoes, bro. I'm like, I looked at him the and then I, I I automatically like knew it was my fault when I looked at him. I'm like why did I, I did, I'm like, why let him, what, what was he going to do with me? And then the second dude, he wanted to be friends with me because he, he first of all, he thought I was a blood because I used to always wear red, mm-hmm. but I wasn't a blood. And I knew how to fight. So he only wanted to be cool with me because I knew how to fight. So he used to always try to start fights and shit and all that type I of shit. I love these male perspectives. Yeah. Because what you're saying is like the equivalent of she could dress real good and that bitch could do nails. That had to be my homegirl. <laughs> like what you said is the equivalent of saying this bitch could dress real good and do nails. <laughs> and she do lashes. <laughs> I think I think we hit the topic. What you got, bro? Talk to us. Uh, Talk to us. Well, let me just say. Uh, but really, I be online, right? And I see a lot of uh, podcasts. You got a lot of debates about the woman's perspective okay. and the man's perspective. Mm-hmm. And uh, but 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 men do this. But men do this. And but women do that. But women do that. You know. Mm-hmm. And, it, and it, it don't never seem like it's going to be a common ground mm. where women understand where men coming from mm-hmm. and men understand where women coming from. It's like, when do you break the dialect, you know, uh, you know, I understand where y'all coming from. Yeah, and, yeah. you know, the male bashing and the women bashing shit stop. Mm-hmm. And the, the 
unity between our people started going on. But right now, you know, we you got the music first. The, that's <laughs> all these fucking distractions, man. Right, and it's right. like, damn, can't nobody come in the gut common ground to unify. And you know, when people can start, you know, getting property and shit, and, mm-hmm. you know, building. The, building generation of wealth and all this, because the information out here, like, you know, like you were just talking about, you, you can use what, what it's called, Big Brother. Mm-hmm. Big brother for the bad or the good. The oh, information man. is there on no. you, you, you. You can research how to open your bank account, your LLC, yeah, get your credit, shit. and this and that and this and that. All you got to do is follow the guidelines mm-hmm. and stay consistent with the shit. Yeah. And it'll happen for you. But everybody wants this instant gratification shit. <laughs> where, you know, when they seeing people, you know, getting the four bedroom, four bathroom, riding in the Mercedes, but they ain't <laughs> see the struggle. And, you know, because everybody right. like to show off a good, you know, yeah. as the saying goes, the p- people show you when they win on the boat. They ain't going to show you when they losing on the boat. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Real. It's like, so it's like my my question is, mm. do you think that it will ever come a time where we come to common ground and agree with each other and understand each other and quit the male bashing and the woman bashing and then recognize self shit. Mm-hmm. Men need to recognize what we do fucked up. Women need to recognize. And then check each other. Don't keep coming over here checking us. Check each other first. <laughs> right. Men check the men. Right. Women check the women. I agree. Then mm-hmm. we come and say, I understand where y'all coming from. Now let's have this communication and this dialogue and get mm-hmm. to understand what, what the next best move is going to be. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Short. Answer to that is no. I don't think they will. As as a people's no, as individuals, yes. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Well, but that's how I think it has to start as individuals. Yeah, as individuals. Well, it, yes. it has to be an open discussion between those individuals, so it could be like a like an example set. You got to be the right people to too. No, so you gotta I be got the a right few people. things to say. One, people have to understand and respect perspective. People do not truly understand what perspective means. And they're showing it every day. People don't respect the fact that you can have a difference of opinions and that don't make it law. Don't be a hypocrite. Right. Mm-hmm. They refuse to acknowledge that. And because everything about the world today is put in a position where it's one way or the other. There's never any in between. Everything we look at is placed strategically for it to be one way or the other. You the racist or you're not racist, it's no halfway. You the sexist or you're not sexist, it's no halfway. That's that's one big thing, and no one respects perspective. And everyone's screaming to be heard right now because all these folks have been hurt, and they're just now learning how hurt they were. And so now it's a big screaming match. Trauma, Every direction. Trauma, traumatized Trauma screaming mm-hmm. match everywhere you turn. And so everyone's reacting. And a lot of these people, I hate to say it, are undereducated. So cause and effect don't mean shit to them. They weren't taught cause and effect. So it's hard for someone who hasn't been taught certain things appropriately to process appropriately. And until, like you said, people are ready to hold each other accountable, we have these conversations all the time amongst ourselves, but I don't think that... I think that's what the word I'm looking for. Mm. Accountability. Mm. <laughs> that's what I'm looking for, green girl. That's what, I'm like, that's what it's she all about. She asked my question. What is it going to take? Accountability. And yeah, I, don't think, I don't think that people are showcased enough positive accountability it does not always have to be screaming on each other it does not always have to be being nasty to each other we use humor so much as a way to cope to the point where we're using humor as a way to communicate and that's not you calling yourself dogging me or joining on me or whatever it is does not equate fixing shit true and we these people are not these people no one is learning that because we laugh at everything, and then we move on to the next shit. You haven't learned anything. You're not accountable. And accountability, everyone wants you to be held accountable publicly, but there's mm-hmm. some private accountability going on out mm-hmm. here. Mm-hmm. It really is. Mm-hmm. But then you then turn around and have people that are examples that are not the best examples. Mm-hmm. And so we look at fuck shit again, mm-hmm. and it's repeat, repeat, right. repeat. Sometimes you can tell old oh, girl and pull her ass to the side what it is. Girl, you know you ain't had no business doing that. That was stupid. Why did you do that? Mm-hmm. I've 
been in positions where I'm talking to older women, women that were much older than me, and they doing stupid shit. Mm-hmm. Well, I called the police on mm-hmm. him because he took the rental and da 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 and now I can't rent no car no more. That sounds like cause and effect. It sounds like you did some dumb shit. It sounds like all of that could have been a conversation, but because everyone wants to out-petty one another Oof. and wants to be the one to beat you to the punch on some shit, you fucked yourself. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. nuts. And now you're mad at this person because you yeah. fucked y'all's situation up when all you had to do was have a reasonable conversation and walk away. We can't just do that. Mm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Same what you think, man. I agree with a lot of that. It always starts with yourself recognizing your wrong and admitting your wrong. And that's hard to do for a lot. Yeah. It's hard for me to do sometimes. <laughs> I be like, so, and sometimes I don't be knowing. Hey, you don't know, because we be in that situation. Now that I know, we have been through that before. Yeah. <laughs> we know the outcome of what this and this and we go ahead and admit that's what. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's how it is, you know. And as you with growth and accountability and recognizing what's wrong, what's right, how you would want to be treated. That's real. You know, mm-hmm. And a lot of people are afraid to be wrong. <laughs> Let's say that again. It's okay <laughs> to not be right about everything mm-hmm. all the time. You got to be wrong to learn. True. Like like I said, I, I ain't no True. knows. I be wrong sometimes. And it be off emotion sometimes. Yeah. It be just an instant reaction off emotion. Oh, <laughs> Bird, you wrong, you wrong. Well, I ain't mean to get that loud. I think I thought I was right. But I'm sorry for getting loud. I'm, I'm sorry. You was, I, I right. was wrong for getting loud. Yeah, you was wrong for getting loud, but you was right about what you were saying. Ooh, I know. I done made a few people mad with that. Oh, I meant you what I said. Yeah, you right. what I'm saying? Right. I know I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I was reacting off of emotion. Right. And when right. you emotional, can't say a lot of shit can't stop that. That's why jail, whereas that now you end up in the justice center off of emotion. Oh, you okay. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So if you know how to control that shit and then recognize accountability, you know, all the shit that ball on the aspect of being responsible for your actions. Yep, yep, yep. Man. It'll be a great place. You'll be in a great place. Yeah. Man. Mm-hmm. For then real. you start getting them people that love you and then them haters will come because the people love you, then we want to <laughs> But that's <laughs> that you need them. That's the crowd. Right, right, that's the right, audience. Right. You need them in the audience. Yeah. Yeah. You I'm gotta have the audience. Wow, the haters are the audience. They are the y'all, audience. Y'all see, the honey episode is an enlightening me. We talk uh, a lot about it. Sexy Red, but let me tell you something. <laughs> we say a lot about Sexy Red, but without these haters, without the motherfucking audience, what would we have? What you, would we we meet and keep talking. Make another think piece, babe. What else you do yeah. wrong? <laughs> um, I just I just told uh, uh, my partner, T, he was talking about uh, humiliation yesterday. Ooh. And he, he, he was like... Uh, that's like one of the key formulas to success is humiliation. Because when you've been humiliated, it's like, can't, can't nobody can't else touch you out yeah. there. Yeah, that's I've real. Been in the worst position in my life. What can be said? Like, because we were talking about sexy red with the humility shit. That's why mm. we got on it. Mm. And I was like, damn, you know, when you think about it, like it's like how the stars get on stage and they do the roasting thing. Yeah. And somebody sit up in the throne. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Come it's let them have time. it. Now they hitting you with shit that happened to you in your real life. Yeah. And now you got to laugh about it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It's a fucked up thing. Like, yeah, hey, you fuck all them hoes. You fuck all them niggas. And they laughing with you. But oh, that's man. like a spiritual thing that mm. got to happen to your soul to where can't nobody touch you. Now you can start elevating the shit. Mm. You know, because what can you do? What can you do to me now? Because that's growth, and that's how that's you what get I'm growth. Did. You get people that get humiliated and they get angry. Right. They ain't ready to grow yet. 
Yeah. They haven't. They 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 can't. Their pride won't allow them right. to grow. Mm. And so those are the people that you look up twenty years. Yeah, I'm a rapper. Are you, baby? Because mm. what was you doing? Right. We don't. What happened now? <laughs> Listen, I said that because I seen that shit that Drake had posted to Joe Budden. And let me tell you, oh, that I just nigga. seen that too. Read him I, for I, seen, pure I ain't seen the actual comment, but I've been scrolling and I've just been seeing Joe Budden face and grab like what this. So, so what Joe get? Budden on his show, he discussed Drake's new album and told him, you know, you need to stop fucking the 25 year olds, nigga. It's sound crazy. Oh, wow. He gave him an assessment of his album and let oh, him know wow. what he thought. And Drake read that man. Oh wow! Listen, he took, the he way Drake, he took he basically he took some did, points from the nigga credentials. Let me tell you something. Drake talked so bad about yeah. that man, and he he went on to say like, "Look, you guys, this is what it looks like when you failed at your career oh. and you can do nothing else but talk about people, and this oh, is how wow. you make your bread and butter." At the very end of it, because I am paraphrasing. Bitch, no, that. at the very end of it, he said. I'll just put it like this. I have a 767, mm. and Joe Budden can get on first class first class flights on occasion, and that's how he wow. ended the shit. Whoa. When he when I say that whole, and I'm not finna, I'm not big Whoa. on having to read no fool or anything, right. but I said, wait a minute, Champagne Poppy, he gave a fuck about what somebody said. Let me read this shit. Right. Read that man up and down, and I was like, damn, all he said was that your album was kind of crazy, but okay. I mean, I get right, it. Right, right, right. But he let him know, like, nigga, right. I'm not the one. They retired your jersey, and we don't even know the number. Going, 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 Whoa. going back to going, <laughs> hey, going back to reacting off of emotion. That was a button push. Man. And that that was that was a you hell of a he comeback. Did. That was did a hell he, of a comeback. Oh, he, he, he wrote that did. shit. He hey. did. Listen, when I see the pictures of him with the little colorful clothes pants, like, he wrote that shit. He came <laughs> up out with this. Bitch, you got me fucked uh, up. All I'm saying it because he don't be writing all this rhymes. I'm just saying. Um, listen, he wrote that. He playing. had a lot to say. He got a new song with. Is that future? <laughs> we talking about Jesus? Y'all see that? Not yet. I think oh, so. I he think keep a time. Drake keep a song with Future, so I'll be doing when they knew. Is it good? Yeah, I don't listen to Drake or Future. I listen to Drake a little bit more than Future. I barely listen to Future, but I heard the song and it kind of moved me. Okay. I say okay. They was they was thinking was about you, man. And the, the little <laughs> every little thing that everything was cool about. It. I'm like, I like this. I never mm-hmm. cared that about none of they songs. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I'm being like, I like this. Right, but right. I'm like, damn, they got the G. And, you know, I ain't religious, none of that shit. It's, mm-hmm. just, it's just just putting a positive aspect to the game right now. It's safe That's to good. say they not frenemies. Right. Yeah. <laughs> True there. True there. Right. They not frenemies. When I think of frenemies, though, I do think of, like, back in the days where they was boxing and Ali might not be cool with so-and-so, but they do business together. So Mm -hmm. they make you look good Mm -hmm. here. In reality, you know, he really do got his back. But on this stage, we finna fight, nigga, and I'm finna whoop your ass. That's what I think of as positive frenemies because Mm -hmm. at the end of the day, you down, here I am, finna help you out, and don't nobody got to know that we doing this. Right. That that, that just remind me of uh, Mike Tyson Holyfield relationship. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Well, I don't like you. You don't like me. All right, but guess what? You my fellow so-and-so. Can't nobody else come in. And I was having a conversation with someone in the cannabis industry, and I said, listen, motherfuckers got to understand whether we like each other or not. Can't nobody else come up in this motherfucker and take over what we doing in this industry, and that's that. Man. If they want to see it, they got to come see us first. We'll let mm-hmm. you know if it's approved. Man. Don't win. <laughs> don't get dope. All right. All right, so... Yesterday, we're going to switch gears to this Let's Think About It. Oh, no. So, yesterday, I was on, well, I was engineering Louis Wood Radio. <clears throat> and I met, this is like the, I met, I don't even want to say it because I want, well, I'm going to just say it, fuck it. So, I met a few more black Trump supporters. Mm-hmm. Like, I met one and she was in Atlanta, and we were doing an interview. Are you against black Trump supporters? Huh? Are you against black Trump supporters? No, I just want to, I ain't finna go there yet. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna save that. I just been, then, I just, I, I, a lot of these people been saying that lately. I just, yeah, I, yeah, I ain't, yeah. I'm a, I can't answer that. I'm not against right, right, right. nobody. Right, right. I ain't against nobody right. and who they support, you know right. what I'm saying? I'm just 
I guess I'm just trying to figure out the perspective and the knowledge and the reason why. So, with that being said, because I don't want y'all to answer it, because everybody answered it already. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I didn't listen to everybody say why they, why they, why they support them. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't said, <laughs> I, 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 I said who I'm supporting, but I, my, 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 I noticed a lot of black people been on the Trump side. Yeah. So I'm I'm finna play this so y'all can hear some black people who support Trump. Right. What's this off of uh Instagram, Facebook? That motherfucker on. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. Yeah, like somebody came up and said, it ain't black if you don't vote for Trump. Who is that? It's been a lot of views and views and views. I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. Yeah, this ain't going to work. Fuck it, don't work. Fuck it, don't work. Fuck it, don't work. Fuck it, don't work. Oh. That's all right. Yeah, technical difficulties. That's, that's how it be sometimes. Yeah, yeah. So but what, 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 yeah, what, what was he saying? What was the gist of what he was saying? Um, he was pretty much, you can turn that all the way off now. I didn't really listen to what the uh, dude was saying. I was listening to more of the reason black people, just black people, because I, I know why the white people support them. Black people support them. And what I've been hearing mostly is that, that they felt like they was doing way better during Trump uh, time and that they yep. gave them cash. Yep. And that, what was the other one? Yep. There's been some instances in history where he has supported uh, uh, black people. Yes. And, and, and it was never mentioned. And a lot of that thing came out, too. Yeah. They're like, I ain't know Trump did that for us. Yeah. I ain't know Trump did that for us, you know. Yeah. But all that wasn't coming out during his first term running. They was just focused on he wasn't saying nothing about Floyd Mayweather. He wasn't saying nothing about all the shit that was going on. You right. know, I... You know, I, everything is a d d distraction. And anything to take a nigga off focus, man, from doing the right thing. You well, know. I'm not, I'm more well, focused on why are they, do me. you believe what the people are saying? Would, and is that, is that winning you over to supporting Trump? Because these excuses to me, they, well, not excuses, their perspective is, I, I don't, that's not my, still not my perspective. I don't think I was doing better during Trump well, time. and this is the I thing. I think I was doing the same all since Obama. I've been good. So let me just say this. To me. One thing is there there also has to be an understanding of how the government works, Ooh. and many people oh, don't have that understanding. So all they know is while a person is in office, they feel like that's how they, the conditions are, and they don't realize that you're actually living in the conditions from the previous person. Mm. That is how it always mm. works. Keep where you at. So, so that means, mm -hmm. hold on, because I need to explain that, because you, you, you going, but you're not really. So Trump, when you say he was doing good in the mm -hmm. economy, which that's what we're mm -hmm. talking about, mm -hmm. he just didn't fuck up what Obama did. Mm -hmm. All right, continue. Thank you. He couldn't fuck up what Obama had in place initially. Y'all allowed y'all that y'all made it to where your state representatives fucked it off. That's why the Affordable Care Act is not as pleasant as we thought it was. It was supposed to pay for way more, but they left it to the states, and the states fucked them off. So the states that fucked it off fucked it off. Missouri is one of those states that could give a shit, and they were putting... The people that want us to suffer the most here in Missouri, they was putting y'all motherfucking families and family members up out the nursing homes because of the shit that y'all didn't support that mm -hmm. would have been in your benefit. Mm -hmm. um, 
in our own community, I can speak to this. I see why they would believe one thing, but that goes back to the undereducation, and nobody focuses on anything in the government because if we knew more, then they, we would do more. Mm-hmm. Like, you can vote your judges out. These fuck-ass judges that keep giving y'all tickets and locking y'all up mm-hmm. and shit, you can vote them out. But y'all don't bother to learn that shit because you worried about learning Dang. what's popping, what's yeah. cute, what's hot. Now you mm-hmm. want to get into technology and you still ain't even really getting into it. You just getting into the facial shit and the most external, yeah, sh- external shit. I'm guilty of that. Every time it comes time because <laughs> going back to distraction, I'll be doing my thing, living my life and all that. Mm-hmm. Like, I ain't got no time to sit down one day and say, okay, uh, voting's getting ready to come come up. Let me research this person. Yeah. Let's research this person because you got all these damn people on the ballot. Right. You know, so all right. you're doing is got to just, hey, vote for him, Democrat. Vote Democrat. Yeah. Go there. Vote Democrat. Vote for them. Vote for them. And then it's been 20 years now. <laughs> this is why you got people on Trump's side now. Yeah. They're like, what had the Democrat? Look at my community. I've been here for 20, 25 years doing this democratic shit, and ain't shit that happened in my community. Well, Maybe I should try the Republicans this time. It's the same on the, the Republican side. That is they don't realize it's the state that's fucking them over because there are democratic <laughs> states that actually the shit works. Go on and run your ass to California and think you finna play with them people. They don't play with y'all. They don't play with you. They, they're the ones that's banning the fucking meat. This fake ass meat, they're yeah. banning it. They they are the ones that when the fucking economy go up, they make sure that money go up for them people. They ain't got time to play with them like that. So when they have a homeless crisis, it's really a shocker because they really put in the work out there to where you can't fuck them over like that. Mm-hmm. You can't say that for Missouri. When we motherfucking lost, and I said it before, and I said it again, when we lost that man, what was his name? Oh, my God, I was just talking about him. Uh, Carnahan. When we lost Mel Carnahan, when he passed away, shit changed Mm -hmm. drastically and it has not flipped the fuck back since and y'all keep electing the same fuck ass people that come in play with y'all's money embezzle it leave you with scraps Mm. and promise you that they gonna do something better i thought y'all's opioid crisis was gonna get better missouri Mm. i I thought they probably didn't trump promise y'all a better opioid situation and solution because it's killing y'all he did is is is, is the drugs not killing y'all like it was killing us? Mm-hmm. I'm just curious oh, to that know. Is, it's, it's definitely. Yeah. It's bad, bad, that super focus. bad. It's supposed to be the focused agenda to help. Right. Opioid crisis. So, and they never did that. But yeah. see, we not talking about that because y'all was happy about this Some little raggedy ass twelve hundred dollars. Yeah. You know what twelve hundred dollars broke down to in the time of crisis? It broke down to three dollars and twenty eight cents a day. They and got y'all that was fucking, right back. And y'all was so fucking happy to get three dollars and twenty eight <laughs> cents a goddamn day. Man, did they not get that right back? Right the fuck back. Soon as y'all got it, y'all spent it and sent it to them motherfuckers. And why they was doing that? Guess what they was doing? PP loaning Last, y'all retorted yeah, yeah. ass. Up, your motherfucking groceries went up. You can't go nowhere. You World. still gas, groceries, she even going utilities, out. Yeah, all of that everything. Shit. Haircuts. Inflation, baby. Everything. They told y'all that they you Stop wasn't gonna it. have access but to you so feel much better. shit, but you you had it. <laughs> For one little bitch ass twelve hundred dollar check that y'all was getting back at, t- at the end right, of tax I season sure. anyway. Thank, Thank you. you. No. I appreciate it. So it's like those are the things that you know. I understand why you feel that way, but I also understand that you were undereducated. And that's not to say that everything the Democrats are doing is great. Let's yeah, be clear. We ain't on that. It's terrible politicians on both sides. Yeah. And being mad at somebody for a decision that they made in their 20s that they recognized was bad and that they're trying to correct for you. You could be mad at whoever you want to be mad at to the end of time, but right. it don't matter. If they try to correct the problem, why are you still mad? Because they don't give a fuck. Yes, Joe Biden wrote some fucked up laws. Yeah, yes, he did. He, uh, just co- like the re- all of they was doing at the goddamn time. But if time. he's trying to re- rectify <laughs> and he's trying to fix all it, them. let them fix it. Being mad because you had to pay your student loans don't help nobody. So you had to pay them. I get mad right. that I got to pay my bill. That well, don't mean I'm not mad. I'm my mad loans got can't. forgiven. So I mm. fuck with Biden mine, and I'm the still waiting dog. on mine to be. Oops. I'm still waiting on mine to be yeah. forgiven, but I'm not <laughs> mad at them because you right. know what I'm saying. That's like saying I pay my spire bill, but I'm mad at the motherfucker that can't. Right. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Right. 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 But no, I'm gonna be. I, I'm not against nobody when it comes to who they wanna. I just wanna understand. 
Like, I really want to understand. That's me, it. man. I want to. And then another thing, see. going back to research. You got to do your own personal research. Yeah. You don't put the pen to the paper and be putting people in the office. You got to do the research on who you, you know. Yeah. You can't just be going, oh, you don't vote. Because it be people out there pressuring you. Yeah, you go can't vote. Be go me. vote. Well, go vote. You can press and me the reason vote, why they putting that pressure on you is because they know you ain't did the research. They mm-hmm. just going to guide you on into the goddamn school. Look, fill uh, out this ballot. They give you the ballot to yeah. fill out. They give you the picture. Mm-hmm. You know, they I just. See them. It's like it's I've like a there. it's like a, a, a sleep. Like you sleep going in there. Yeah, they and if you don't ask sleep, questions, you a zombie going in there, motherfucker. But you the band, be and and but I shit. told you before. That's exactly why they threw so much confusion out here. Because when we were in the pandemic, when you had to sit your ass down for that time frame, guess what you had time to do? research and learn mm-hmm. and guess who did not like that mm-hmm. and guess where they was learning the most at fucking tiktok mm-hmm. they couldn't stand mm-hmm. that shit how That's dare these wild. little white girls and these little mm-hmm. white boys tell us that we've been doing wrong all this time and we've been operating just fucking fine shut right. it down right. and then guess what y'all start paying attention to dances yep. making full yeah. fucking smorgasbords in the toilet bowl everything but the shit that made <laughs> fucking sense it was Gross. all done on purpose. <laughs> the one time we almost, we was almost was collectively, it everybody was, you was ain't watching. Lying. It was one second where we were almost there. And then next thing you know, boom, Asians get a law passed for them because they don't want them to be getting uh, discriminated against and mm-hmm. beat up. But we still ain't got ours. That's how the shit kicked off. Then next thing that. you know, transgender shit kicked off. Yep. Now we mad at them. Yep. Then after that, <laughs> well, they're looting and they're stealing. Stretching. Then after that, Stretching. well, these PP loans are here. But no, Stretching. we're going to get these people for the PP Stretching. loans after you proven that all the fucking Congress people and they got a PP loan and yeah. got everything fucking forgiven. And then you start, once they made that diversion, they was too. like, oh, by the way, we open. You can come back outside. Now mm. everything went down to fucking shitter. Mm. Now we back where we started at. Mm. Mad at everybody. Everybody mad at each other. I ain't seen that you can't buy groceries. You can't buy groceries. You can't buy groceries. You can't go nowhere in a timely fashion Man. get anything done. You think all these Tim Tags is out here by design? Missouri Man. passed a law that they was supposed to put that shit into, into the, t- the uh, yeah, into the sales tax a long time ago. So yeah. the real question ain't why is there so many out here because they not paying their taxes. The real question is why the fuck you ain't hold them car companies accountable for not getting them out there because they supposed to issue the check and had a motherfucking place taken care of. Mm. So if when. But they also not talking about how they closed down all them DMVs. You can't go to the DMV in all the spaces you used to be able yeah. to. Mm-mm. Now they closed, and yeah. you still can't get there because you work in your eight to five job. By the time you get off, people ain't using their off time to do shit they need to do. They getting mm. the fuck out of here. I want that memory pill she be taking. <laughs> she just spitting all back what's going but, on then but then, that's man. what happened yeah, I know. and if people sat back and watch history this is just a repeat they did yeah. this already in yeah. the 50s and the 60s they did that in the 30s and the 40s we watching it again we watching a new rise of how things went down after slavery. I told you this. We mm-hmm. had first slavery for us, for black people. And what did everybody do? Everybody could cook. They could clean. Mm-hmm. They could sew. They all made businesses. Soon mm-hmm. as they made neighborhoods, towns, and everything, what they do come fuck it up. Mm-hmm. What did we all do yeah. while we were in the pandemic? All of a sudden, it's a pop-up every goddamn day of the week. Mm-hmm. To the point where people, oh, I'm just tired of pop-ups. Shit, I'm tired of pop-ups, too. But guess what we all can do? We can all cook. We can all create. We can all make anything you need. And Man. so now there's so many of us that can do all these things, and we are fucking oversaturated. And yep. while we was trying to build what they do, raise the taxes on your yep. same ass again. Mm-hmm. Make the rent so fucking high that you can't even make decisions. Do I pay rent? Do I pay the utilities? Do I get food? What do we do? Mm-hmm. We, we just watching it happen over and over again. <laughs> all you did was add a little AI. That's it. That's it. And you that's better, the throw you off. learn how to get that. <laughs> Man. Add a little so, chat GPT to it. Hey, so I'm, I'm on on this situation with Trump, man. I, I'm I'm telling you, I like this. I done did my research on Trump, and I liked Trump before. I stopped liking Trump when I found out about the New York shit mm-hmm. and when he was uh, discriminating against black people. That's when, that's because I did my research, and that's when I seen that because, yes, he has... He's like a duck. He'll use one hand to do one thing, then use the other hand to do something. So if he helped you, 
he gonna fuck you long or he are you know what I'm saying? If he help you, he ain't help you. He pro- he propositioned you. I'm done. It looks yeah. good, and he ain't tell you on the backside why you, you get finna do up. this. You the front man, right? So. That's how he get away with it, cause you can look at it from whatever side you want to look. He did so much fucked up shit, but he did this other shit with money. He's like, okay, I can look at that. Oh, okay, but I'm looking at this more than anything, cause this continues too. Mm-hmm. It ain't stopping. Now, if he would have stopped, like he didn't do the shit no more, I. Right. Nah, he's still doing leg- it. That's legacy. He do it. He got his kids <laughs> doing it. They help him from all sides. He got his kids, spouses helping him. No. The, the the little the youngest one he got in that porn store he married. They also helping. Like it's all it yeah. all works together. So and then another thing, I I if y'all say this, I can't really say nothing to you no more. If you say at least he's up front, at least he's that person. Okay, so you just cool with him being up front and you know what you're getting. Let me. Okay, all right. So I'm good. All right. That's yeah, what type of person you are. Our people blindly moving by the situation they was in while he was in office. <laughs> emotionally, <laughs> right. And they had right. some and money. Survival. They had some checks coming in. They, it was good doing his that. And they say, we want to see what he going to do this time. Especially <laughs> if he passes this, this judge, this court shit he going to <laughs> Oh, they're not playing with his ass. He's ain't already playing, guilty. Especially that judge. That judge ain't, ain't playing, playing with him. him. In New York, not playing. <laughs> See, they quietly did that shit in New York because New York should have blasted him, bro. him. New York, t- don't yeah. you or your kids bring your stinking ass back. You owe these people their money hey, back. You can't own open him. not a damn business, not never again. You done fucked us up for decades. I've always known he's been a bad business yeah. person. New when they York fucking said he Georgia was running, I said it was a terrible idea. Yeah, New yeah. York and Georgia is finna stink his ass. Oh, they finna wear his ass out. Them black girls finna yeah. end it. They finna two-step. <laughs> <laughs> a two-step. A two-step. A two-step. A watch a two-step. Get it. Get it. Get it. Hey. Oh, damn. For real, like, like I, I don't <laughs> like how my thing is. I'm gonna tell my emotional part of Trump. First of all, you and and I'm Obama. He was not a perfect president. None of that. I he, I know he the, the the I ain't gonna say the Obama worst thing was he did. Obama pre-selected for a, a, a and, and that's what I. Yeah. Uh, but even if I ain't thinking but he on did that, some shit that my, needed to be done. My point is when he came to. Obama talking about his fucking birth certificate and pushing that racist agenda, bro. That's when. That's why I don't fuck with him. You I can't front. fuck with you. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm good. Right. If that's how. If that's what you running off of, I'm good. Mm-hmm. So that's why I don't fuck with him, and I'm good on him. I don't like his character. He should. He should have just stayed Trump. Not. He shouldn't have became president. <laughs> right, right. If right, he would have right, stayed right, right, Trump. Right, right. I'd be, I wouldn't have no problem with him. But once he stepped over that line to president, fuck you. You know what I'm saying? I don't, and I don't want no ill will to happen to you, but fuck your policies and fuck all that shit you, whatever you want, bro. I don't want none of it. I'm going to say this, and this is just my assessment. For me, it looks like Trump played it to where if you'll let this black man be president, you'll allow me to be. And that's yeah, why, yeah. and that's the that's the gist <laughs> I Man. get from the yeah. people that are big on the. I'll call them the MAGA people because I won't say racist. I don't got the yeah. energy for that. The MAGA people, mm-hmm. y'all are one thousand percent okay with him because you already had a preconceived idea who the fuck you thought Obama was, mm-hmm. no matter what he was or what he wasn't. All day. It didn't matter what that man did or didn't do, because one thing that Obama did when he walked up in the motherfucking office, first thing he did was. Fired the CEO mm. over the bank with that housing shit. Yep. He fired that CEO. Mm-hmm. Next thing he did, that was made what sure motherfucker up. Ben Laden ass was put in the dirt. Those are the first. Those are the man. Things. Hold up. Those are, that's those are the things that Americans love, yeah. no matter what. Yeah. They love a motherfucker. That's who killed Obama? I mean, I said Obama. Osama. Who, who ben killed Laden. Ben Laden? So I was he, in the military at that time. I know who did it. He reached the two things that Americans love. A man that's going to put his nuts on the table and a man that's going to come in and kill. Dish out of left hand, Jay, in the White House. And you, who you, why y'all? 
boy. So that's he why said, I say that. This boy is whack, bro. And that's I'm... why I say that when Trump came in, to me, it felt like his whole thing was, if you let that black man be the president, and not me. You better let me. In. I should also be president. Oh, and then, and then Hillary. Yep. Let's talk about, because I want to smack every dude that said me, Hillary wasn't like, I'm like, yeah, what? You ain't got to like I Hillary. I didn't want to believe it. I did not want to believe that you, men was that chauvinistic. No, that's 1,000%. I did but not want to believe thing. it. Hillary should be mad at every white woman, because each and every one of them was supposed <laughs> to have that bitch back. Oh my You were supposed God. to give a fuck that her husband sucked that you had that lady he suck him off in the office of and got caught up. <laughs> you were supposed to empathize with her. You were supposed to feel like, damn, she's smart. She can do this, she can do that. Y'all was worried about some bitch ass emails and this motherfucker still out here having uh conversations with wealthy billionaire Australian man, men and telling all our fucking business. That's real shit, man. Yeah, I know. That's because I pay man. attention. I when know. when the shit fall, they won't say green girl didn't do her due nah, diligence. They, <laughs> these motherfuckers <laughs> piss me off with that shit. When, when you said emails, I'm like, when mother was bringing up emails, I'm like, emails? When, when have you ever tripped off of, when have you ever tripped off emails? Emails, yeah, my email, nigga? Email. That's why you're not email. voting for? Because it's some emails? Email. When have you ever tripped off of emails? This nigga was friends with a motherfucker that had a whole <laughs> island full of underage girls, and you worried about some emails? Stop this. Oh, nine. Well, oh, well, Jeffrey. at least he is. Trump was this besties dude. with Jeffrey. Man. They had, they had a whole <laughs> little thing going on. And then hey, this motherfucker, <laughs> oh, we'll just grab him in the pussy. All oh, these females, like, oh, these, I mean, told this is how the, you vote? This your president? Told that man from Texas his wife was ugly. Ugly bitch. Straight up told that man his wife was ugly. So I'm I'm just I'm just like I'm not understanding it. I this is what I'm understanding, I'm guessing, because it's what you kinda saying. Since Barack Obama, I guess the fucking presidency then went went low in stock with mm. with character. Yeah. Mm. Seems they like caring. It. They stopped caring. They felt like there's someone out here for us. No, he's not out here for you either. That nah. shit he promised y'all, nah. you ain't getting no wall. You know y'all stupid. You ain't get shit. All you got was some confusion. Yeah. And yeah. you still can't buy groceries like we can't. MAGA. Hey, all right. This is the best part of uh, Trump presidency to me. And it was the funniest. But it was real serious, though. I'm saying that because it was serious. That January 6th shit, it was serious. Because, Insurrection. Because they thought they was playing in the civics book in the high school, but they thought they was the tea party. Bruh. They was coming in this motherfucker. Hey. They was finna shut I'm it down. All I'm asking is, why you mad again? Y'all done hey. took vacation days. Motherfuckers helping you, you up the motherfuckers. Her killer. <laughs> a, whole bunch of them, a whole bunch of them was from her. Let's I talk bet. about it. A, a whole Missouri bunch of them was from here, you raggedy motherfuckers. I'm like, what are y'all mad look, at? Look, I'm look. from Bernie, Missouri. <laughs> the same ones that won't come down to the city unless they trying to see a Cardinals game and they two skirts Man. motherfuckers get on the Metro to get to the bitch. I heard them, them motherfuckers every day. went out there suited and booty like motherfucking Wolverines and goddamn <laughs> goats and lambs and shit. Looking crazy yeah, as hell. We gonna talk about you for another 10 years. Man, stupid I ass mo- Y'all breaking in shitting on shit. Come on, man. Threatening what is, these what people. is this is a what what I'm still I know you know Green Girl. What are y'all mad at? <laughs> Guess what all I'm thinking. Because all I can say time. is this. What are y'all mad at? What is this insurrection for? Y'all done had every president and your lives still ain't changed. And we talking about Missouri specifically. You still living in the dirt roads and the boonies. You still motherfucking can't get access to good health care. You got to bring your ass to the city. Yep. You still can't do shit without a slew or BJC. Mm-hmm. You, you be so lucky if Mercy will let you in. You still on Medicaid just like the motherfuckers in the city. What you mad at, baby? They played you too. Man. They played I, 
happy. Hey, just to let y'all know, I'll be looking you know for that. the white folks still are selling their stamps too. You know, hell know. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there ain't no discrimination. I, I buy stamps from white folks too, you dig. All right. <laughs> Same floor, you. You been gearing up? You ready? Same floor, it ain't political here. Y'all talk about that politics. Y'all, I'm going to holler at y'all when y'all done. Huh? <laughs> right. That's, why, that's why it's this term. It ain't to, too to political either. Shit. But I, like I, I do need too, to start bro. doing my research, though. <coughs> I'm a voter, you know. Yeah. I, I need to research who I'm going to vote. Research who you're going to vote for. Yeah. And, if they and, ain't the one, go to the next best thing in line. And yeah. that's for everything. And pay yeah. attention to who, when you vote them in, see how much money get embezzled. That's how you know who to get the I fuck rid of. Because mm. I don't think y'all paying attention to how much money is getting embezzled from these municipalities. Mm. We talk about mm. the, the police in the small municipalities, but look at who is running the treasury of them motherfuckers. Look at who mm. is up in there in their office every day. Peggy mm. them stealing everything in that bitch but the paint off the walls. Hence the word bezel. Bird bezel. I will take the money. <laughs> <laughs> like bird bezel, that is. <laughs> What's up, <brother? laughs> What up? <laughs> Ooh. Same way for y'all ain't finna do is, uh, what you finna do, you got a point. <laughs> Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You do this every Sunday. You been doing it every Sunday, say? Yeah, Sunday. So that means, that means you got... No, nah, hold on, you ain't start in the beginning. You start what he start, like the 50th episode? When you come in, saying To the, to the to philosophy it. show. And like, you was halfway there. You was down there, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, 50. So that means you got, you done did 50, 50, 50 live points, say? Hey, now. That's, that's a, that's a, uh, you can put it in your record, man. Yeah. You got to, you remember all these motherfuckers? Like, and you, you don't remember these. You know? You okay. Uh, <laughs> I remember a lot of them. We're going to have to put together a reel of nothing but same floors. What you, what you got for us thug. today, say? Mm -hmm. I just got some expressions. <laughs> Let's hear it. Let's hear it. And I'm going to go off that. <laughs> Sit back, relax, and kick back. How to cancel. Just chit chat. It's about those facts. I ain't never been political, but I've been militant. Mm -hmm. Hello. I'll call you back. And I can say, <laughs> when it came to the president, Trump, guilty. <laughs> 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 Damn, I'm on some shit again. <laughs> yes, sir. So why should I be <laughs> befriending him? That's my friend of me. <laughs> <laughs> Ignorant motherfucker. <laughs> White brother. <laughs> <laughs> But undo what my haters do too. Sometimes people get confused. 23, niggas still better than bruised. This shit chaos. People don't understand that. Sometimes I got flashbacks. Sometimes I want to put my hands back. And all of a sudden, people pressing buttons hit load up. Sit back and think about the people that really give a fuck. When the lightning go, it's going to strike. You'll see how many soldiers are ready to fight. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm just a black man, the average though, but I ain't average though. I had a thought, do I really want to be fucking po? <laughs> 42 years old. Where my 401k at? Right. <laughs> I'm trying to make <laughs> that shit long, long, long fucking fat. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I don't gotta have my hand out. Not for that dumb. Yeah. I'm on some rich man, black man shit. Listening back to how all my people sit back, relax, and think about the knowledge that we give, that they give to me. The structure. See, bridges get built, and bridges burn. 
bitch will get rebuilt. It'll get burned again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about structure. Where you fix your structure, where you at that made that bridge. Shit, I'd rather treat that shit like Pujols did Liz. <laughs> Damn, Pujols. <laughs> hey, Hall of Fame shit. Life Hall of Fame shit. Mm-hmm. Make sure I build that house with brick. <laughs> <laughs> Concrete. Better yet, steel. That's where my mind is. Yes, sir. In every element. Keep it real. Same. That's where the shine is. All day. See, what's noted, I choose to block out the eclipse, the ones that kick shit, the ones that be on bullshit but still be counterfeit. And we all know what that shit means. What's real is real and what's right is wrong. What's wrong is right sometimes. Don't get caught up in that situation because you ain't Optimus Prime. <laughs> See, I'd rather be the teacher. I'd rather be the preacher. I'd rather be the reason, not the one to be touched. Because I've been touched so much, sometimes now I don't give a fuck. Some people better get their mind right because they've been inducted. They caught up in the shit we living in. It's so corrupted. God damn, they mind been inducted. <laughs> damn, that was cold with say. <laughs> For real though, bro. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I don't want to say shit, but I gotta say it good. <laughs> gotta say it lot. It's like an iron slot. A jackpot. <laughs> shit. It's like playing the lottery. The Powerball. A hundred oh, and million, shit. million, 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 <laughs> million, <laughs> billions, <laughs> billions, <laughs> billions, <laughs> billions, <laughs> billions, 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 billions. Hello. 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 Did anybody win that, by the way? I, oh, no, I got to play. It's, it's in the building. I need yeah, to play. Because everybody won't get lucky. Shit, it might be me, though. I know. I want to play. Shit, get dirty. While you playing rugby. You hear me? Mm-hmm. Looking for validation, but don't want that motherfucker to judge me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna be worried about no friend of me then. No. Okay. <laughs> we gonna be chilling. <laughs> she yeah. up on them miles. <laughs> okay. Be Woo! Woo! Oh, Expressions. <laughs> 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 Expressions. <laughs> Say! Okay! Four! <laughs> Say! Floor, I say, hold close. on, wait, man. So, so you hit one. You know we got AI now. You just put that motherfucker up to the mic, and it's gonna write it out for you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's real. Straight up. And that motherfucker gone. Everything you say, you ain't got to write it up. I'm put that motherfucker in the uh, roller decks. <laughs> so honestly, uh, Tweezy, I didn't even <laughs> come with anything because I knew that this was a celebration, and this mm. is much bigger than me and my corner. But what I will say is, y'all, October is still very much active. Get out here. I got Park Hills next weekend, the 14th and the 15th. You can still get tickets to the Canna Fest. You can still get tickets to get on the Smoker Shuttle to get there. Definitely come holler at me. I always got something different. Y'all already know what it is with me. Um, The week after that... The week after that is going to be the Canaween event with Elite Homegrown. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Zach. I seen him last night, the bonfire. That was awesome. Mm-hmm. What's up, big bro? Um, then my event is the Do It Yourself, High Do It Yourself event. Going to be held over in Ferguson at Rooted Bud Spot. Get with me. It's still a few tickets, and I do mean few tickets well, Rudy, left. Well, Rooted Buds in Ferguson. What's that on? Uh, Church. Church Road. Yep. Road. Yep. So you got to get the tickets, and then we're still taking de- donations for Canna BB. So there is a big homeless crisis here. We are asking for more than just the um, duffel, gently used duffel bags and luggage for the orphanages and trying to get kids who are adopted out with actual something to take their belongings in. But we're also asking for uh, flashlights for safety with batteries, sanitizer, hygiene products for the people that are outside. It's getting cold out there. Y'all, they don't need blankets. They need trash bags to keep things clean. Many of these homeless people have jobs. 
they are students. Everyone that's homeless just ain't out here just bum bumming in and ain't on drugs. Mm-hmm. People really are having a hard time. Rent is not affordable, nor is it really accessible. It's hard to get in anywhere. They want you to jump through hoops and hurdles, and half of them people, they damn self a motherfucking check away from not having it. So mm-hmm. let's be considerate of one another and try to give give things that make sense. If you're going to give a can good, try to get a pull top. Everybody ain't got access to can openers and things to heat their food the way you, that you do. Like, you really yeah. got to think beyond yourself in these times. Um, then there's also the Art and Soul event at the On Guard that Belle Darris is hosting. She's a wonderful violinist. If you have not heard of her, mm-hmm. please hear of her. And Tweezy, we have the event coming up on this is the 28th. Mm-hmm. Yep, so y'all, it's active. Get out here. The holidays are coming up. I do my cakes, college <laughs> girl, if you need uh-oh, something. Uh-oh. You can get them infused or not infused. And right now, I might be working out some deals, so you might want to get with me while girl, you can. Uh, you, you, yeah. you go learn about me, baby. <laughs> so it's, it's very much active, y'all. Get out here. And for those that are trying to get into the cannabis industry, just understand there's more to the industry than just touching flour. You can be a person that deals with the medium, the soils. You can be a person that deals with media. You can be a person that has a store. I mean, the the possibilities are endless. They are trying to open up things for us, but we have to be a little more creative because at the end of the day, sometimes you got to keep that shit straight. So just mm. move move smart. Mm. Goddamn. I love it. <laughs> That's what you call a honey honey episode. All right. <laughs> All day, all day. What we at? We at what time? What we at? Two thirty. Damn, for real. Yes, Damn, that's, that's, that was a good ass <laughs> conversation. That's how we. That's how we do. <laughs> <laughs> we talk good around here. Hey, all day. Around right here. Day. I felt <laughs> good, man. I said I just want to say congratulations thank on the one hundred episode. Thank you. I had thank to you. slide through. If I would have put my partner on, you would know it would have been a hundred balloons in this motherfucker. <laughs> 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 all day, all day. That's how we do it, Straight man. Straight up. Right but up. I'm like, I'm, you know, I'm usually like uh, busy on Sunday, man. These kids be happy running me through the ringer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I say I'm going to highlight this hundred episode with the philosophy, you know, <laughs> and green good. I thought I was going to see Rich Daddy. Yeah. Daddy, yeah. Nah. What up, Rich Daddy? I feel you in spirit from next to me, my brother. Yeah. Nah, all day. Yeah, Daddy my Rich. Daddy Rich. Bring the pain. I thank y'all, man. Yeah. It wouldn't be a podcast show without y'all. Salud, boys. salud. Hey, hey, hey. Daddy, all day, man. Um, we gonna continue on, man. I have to also shout out BGN Network and all the countries that uh, support us. Also on the Village Global Network, um, it's going down, man. Um, I'm. Uh, we have a lot of events going on. Like you said, we got October 28th. We got um, November 1st. We got you uh, showcase, yep, man. Yep. We we are giving away two spots. Well, we giving away two spots for OMB, two spots for Hip hop, two spots for comedian, two spots for R and B, and we're um, looking for two hosts also to promote all next year. Put y'all in the game. Okay. All you have to do is register, and that's twenty dollars, and then send me your pick for promotion. I'll be blasting some people out today because uh, they they registered. Um, to get this, man, you gotta register. You gotta get into it. You gotta be ready, cause we ain't we we choosing the cream of the crop. We got a plan. We have a marketing plan mm-hmm. for next year. We already tested it. It works. It's going down. Whoever we fucking with next year on this audit shit, on this on this entertainment shit, come on, cause this is about we about to focus now. You know what I'm saying? We and long. he been focused. He just Man. been to turn up on you, baby. <laughs> Tweezy always been about his business. You see where he at? He's still sitting in the same seat. Man. The same seat, baby. So if you don't go register, it ain't hey, got to be serious when you register. Don't bring Please. your ass and tell me, I got to work Sunday. I got to work every time. You got everything. You always got to work. What you hey. register for? Yeah. If you got to, <laughs> I mean, be just just know <laughs> that we're going to give you the exposure and promotion that that you deserve because I'm I was an artist so I know what artists need mm-hmm. so that's what I'm out here doing mm-hmm. I'm looking 
for things that artists need or, or people that surround me. I need. was just about to mm-hmm. say, let me just say this. I am not an artist, mm-hmm. and I have been blessed to be put in different opportunities and positions by you all as yeah, well. I, so I was I'm just very about grateful. to say, is it like small business owner? Because you're like, a business owner. You're oh, yeah. entrepreneur. Oh, so, yeah. Oh, yeah. And so I've, I've been... I've been in a good space working with you all, and I appreciate it. I've, I've not been disappointed at all. Um, and I'm always, you know, Kentucky really, that's, that just was nail on a coffin for me. Like, <laughs> y'all can't, can't nobody say shit to me. Whatever. <laughs> right, right. I'm good. I, I'm that big B. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, y'all. <laughs> all day. So, yeah. yeah. Don't art got entrepreneur in it. Yeah. When you spell it. Entrepreneur got art in it. Not it. Not all the gay. The <laughs> letters are there. Letters. <laughs> like, look, it's just a little, it's a little vegetable soup. Well, they hey. in there. <laughs> Entrepreneur. Yeah, I finna say pen, but damn, man, that ain't even. It's, right. it's in our, It's like the letters are there in the in the in the gumbo. Right, right. All day. <laughs> Enter. No, nah, let me stop. But yes, yeah, yeah. But yes, yeah, so uh, make sure y'all come out, man. Fuck with us. Don't listen to all them haters. Try it. Try us out for yourself, because um, in a minute you will not be able to even say shit to me. I'm just gonna be real with you. Yes, honestly, because um, I put a lot of love out here, man, and I do that purposely. You know what I'm saying? Because I know I gotta put in work. You know what I'm saying? Right. And and when you yeah, I mean. I, I if just the most want, high allows it. I you just know want what I'm people to learn how to accept the the accolades when they're given. I All really that. I wish that people could learn how to just accept yeah, it. That's true too. God Cause damn. like we give <laughs> people you can give love and that don't mean everybody's gonna receive it. That's true. And I just really I want people to understand hey, that it's some right. real mm-hmm. love out there. Yeah. Everybody ain't throwing you out there to you. Sometimes motherfuckers just want to see other people around them do well. And I do want to say that I don't think that anyone ever has bad intentions when we're trying to promote or throw love in your direction if you're not familiar with who we are. Mm -hmm. You can't go off of whatever, you you know, what another person may or may not feel because their experience is theirs. If we throwing you love, it's okay to accept it. All day. Real talk. So come on because we're going to have fun. We solid. You know what I'm saying? So we don't, we don't, like the green girl said, I ain't going to have to go behind that. But, you know what I'm saying? Hey, we ready to get off here, y'all? Yeah, this was good. Mm-hmm. All day same. That bottle gone, so it's real oh, good. Oh, man, we, hey. 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 <laughs> Shout out. Hey. I can only drink so much. Boy, this shit had me. Boy, what's this, champagne? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, champagne. Champagne, <laughs> <laughs> Another toast to y'all champagne. Uh-huh. Oh, you man. got no more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you yeah, need uh-huh. Clink, 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 clink. I knew we were going to drink that up. Another Ooh. y'all. Love y'all, man. Real talk. I never, I I never knew we would be doing podcasts, like ever, until we doing podcasts. Okay, <laughs> here we are. I wasn't at 19, running. like, yeah, man, I'm going to run me a podcast and do the media. Oh. What's calling? What's calling, man? All day. All right, John. We're going to leave out of here with a couple of songs. We're going to start off with my boy, St. Floyd. Hey. Uh, Hold up. I'm switching up the frequency. Bullshit just got into me. Real nigga Tennessee. Feel the room with energy. Switching up the frequency. Bullshit just can't get to me. Real nigga Tennessee. Feel the room with energy. Switching up the frequency. Bullshit just can't get to me. Real nigga Tennessee. Feel the room with energy. Switching up the frequency. Bullshit just can't get to me. Real nigga Tennessee. Feel the room with energy. Motherfucker, mind in the sky, body like a cloud. See the life in my eye. Won't nobody give me shit, so I gotta get it done. Try my best to be a daddy, cause I didn't have one. If I start, I'm gon' finish. That's the air represented. I've been doing this shit for years, I ain't never been pretending. Till a lot of niggas fall for the life that's too tall. If you don't wanna see me fall, then close your eyes, dog. I be mobbing down grand, feel like a 
a hundred grand. Stick it to the plan, you niggas don't understand. Got the word in my hand, saying Floyd in the man. It's the evil who I stay tell the name. I'm on my way, saying Floyd, I wanna play. I can do this all day. Saying Floyd, I wanna play. I can do this all day. I'm switching up the frequency, bullshit just gonna get to me. Real nigga tendency, fill the room with energy. Switching up the frequency, bullshit just can't get to me. Real nigga tendency, fill the room with energy. Switching up the frequency, bullshit just can't get to me. Real nigga tendency, fill the room with energy. Switching up the frequency, bullshit just can't get to me. Real nigga tendency, fill the room with energy. Fill the room with energy. Fill the room with energy. Feel the spot with energy. Feel the spot with energy. Switching up the frequency. Bullshit that can't get to me. Real nigga tendency. Feel the spot with energy. Eyes on the enemy. Even the ones that's killing me. Some people friends to me. Friends could be the enemy. Live my life consistently. Rituals come officially. Only thing makes sense to me. Gotta die eventually. Same state trending. Really never ending. Precise with my decision. Cause niggas get reinvented. Same thought I wanna play. I can do this all day. Same floor they wanna play. I can do this all day. I'm switching up the frequency. Bullshit just can't get to me. Real nigga tendency. Feel the room with energy. Switching up the frequency. Bullshit just can't get to me. Real nigga tendency. Feel the room with energy. Switching up the frequency. Bullshit just can't get to me. Real nigga tendency. Feel the room with energy. Switching up the frequency. Bullshit just can't get to me. Real nigga tendency. Feel the room with energy. Switching up the frequency. Bullshit just can't get to me. Real nigga tendency. Feel the room with energy. You wanna waste mine, huh? I'm only in this for a purpose. Best believe I show you that I'm really worth it. Yeah. If you wanna cheat, we can cheat. Uh, first off, can you pay my bill? Uh, See my cost so precious time. It's more than coffee, wine, or me. Uh-huh. You wanna shoot for that exclusive uh-huh. side? Can you support my shopping? Uh-huh. I need to know this information first before I let you uh-huh. have it. Look at me. Style. When you see me flower style, if you don't understand or comprehend them, boy, you're loud. Home that really shit. shit. Who gon' uh-huh. bring you mental bliss? You just uh-huh. want that licking lick. Well, boy, you gon' pay for it. I bring down the sense of missiveness that please me, tease me, freak me. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm real Mona Lisa. And those other are counterfeit. I know you want this good love. Bougie with that hood love. The things I make you do for me. What you gonna do for me? Everybody want uh-huh. the benefits. Well, me too. What's the point in being in it? What's the point in being intimate if your heart ain't intimate? Uh, Then coming down and doesn't what's gonna make me find a woman benefits? What's the point in being intimate? What's the point in being intimate if your heart ain't intimate? Then coming down and doesn't what's gonna make me find a woman. Don't pursue me for a nigga, multi thousand dollar burger. If you wanna come for me, just follow me. It should really work. I'm looking for my Mr. T. I a whole lot of money, B. I'm Mr. You can have it. Yeah, you treat me good, I treat you better. Beneficial for forever. Will I ever fall in love? I've been to done it, now it's never. Don't need commitment nor consistence. Just the situation. Don't need your broken promises. Just a summer fashion. Just the way you are. Just don't need your broken promises. Just a summer fake relationship. It's simple, cause I'm nimble. Feel me? No dramatics over here. No strings attached, so why react? Just don't need your broken promises. Just a summer fake relationship. It's simple, cause I'm nimble. Feel me? No dramatics over here. No strings attached, so why react? And take me out my atmosphere. You give me 
give me this, I give you that, that's how it goes, and that's a fact, so don't be mad, no disrespect, so now you know, so come correct, it's give and take, or how I blaze you, you blaze me, from the floor to the bed, talking about how you gave me, boy I gave you some of that super, so what you really want from me, what you really want, if it just don't benefit, then really tell me what's the pawn, everybody want the benefits, want me to, What's the point in being in it? It's nothing for you. What's the point in being intimate if your heart ain't meant to be? Then come and tell me, doesn't what's gonna make you find a woman? What's the point in being in it? Yeah, baby, I'm just trying to keep it real. Put a ring up on it, that's a deal. I don't think you do. You and me are through. Oh. King of the Beast. Lord have mercy, have mercy, she could have her way, I mean hell done, hell done, everything did, oh man, she could have it all, decide with me, tell her, tell her, do what you want to do, go any way you want, Put my astronaut suit on and go get you the moon. You the Run moon. you a bubble bath, bubble Snuggle bath. and make you land. Uh -huh. Love the dimples in your cheek when you smile and land. <laughs> May I have your autograph? Your diabetes sweet. Like a rose with no thorn. Beautiful, you need. How about a shopping spree? Shopping everything spree. for free. Everything. In everything you see. Courtesy of me. By the way, the name is V. You know my resume. resume. Oh, no. Hell no. Look like a good day hey. for me to get to know you and have a chance to show you. Huh? And if I get to know you, you'll you be, be loving what I show you. Or we can cruise and take a flight. On a private jet, yeah, private if jet. we choose, we play fight and watch the sunset. sunset. Picnic on the line, right. you having fun yet? Uh -huh. Cause it's only just because I ain't done, done yet. yet. We can do what you wanna do, go anywhere you want. It's alright with me. Yeah. You can have what you wanna have, get anything you want. Girl, it's so yeah. We can do what you wanna do, go anywhere you want.
Life in East St. Louis, My nigga. Autobiography, man. A real life to see folks. I'm about to give you details. <laughs> Niggas be capping. I'm Cap capping. No, my life is real. Facts. Othello on the beat. I'm from the struggle, I grew up around two streets from Russell. 19th, 19th century. and century, my block official, it gave me hustle. Gave me Father a trucker, so most of my morals came from my mother. And you, that's the pain I would never hear, so we won't discuss her. Shot kid all. tone, they show me how to back up a zone. Was Reggie then, got up with weak, now ho ho get strong. Uh -huh. Came from my loan, line of niggas was throwing stones. At prison, y'all were most niggas I stars, love. cause life is gone. Dang. Grew up with Pete and my cousin Cat and that nigga. I fuck with T, but what fuck with me couldn't shut his teeth. Shut you couldn't speak about shit you see happen in these streets. You know and if that. you do, then go talk to God, cause it's rest in peace. Watch for them leaks, cause niggas moving like pretty Ricky. Pretty you want it with me, y'all call up though when we getting busy. Get My busy. mud brother, no matter what, boy, it's 50 50. Right. And 13 was the first son of a shot of glizzy. Those facts, man. Damn. That's real facts, man. I remember me and my nigga Yamin was behind the tracks in the back of the South Theater by the Rust City. You know what I'm saying? Chain gang. You know what I'm saying? Shouts out to my brother, man. For real. Everything I tell you is real life stories, man. My uncle Shaka, Tone, they showed me how to do it, man. They gave me the game and I ran with it. And then my brother gave it back to me and showed me more. I grew up dirty, little dusty niggas, they getting jumped. But fuck from pump, don't hit the ground or you getting stuck. Fuck from a chump, just go ask jobs, this boy can thump. I got in my teens and start toting things that was big as clump. Nutty professor, big homie Mike was a Yola stretcher. Gave me a ball and said, run it back and watch how I bless you. Don't let them catch you and watch cause niggas break under pressure. And two weeks later, my dirty, dirty broke under pressure. See your design when it come with time and you get the crime. Been doing crime, was on probation at age That's of nine. Right. This shit is done. Go ask my auntie, you think I'm lying? I did till and still had no patience, couldn't take my time. Locked in a box when my sister told me they killed PA. And to this day, I'm hoping to just to catch the case. Cause it. niggas hate it, don't give a fuck about no damn mistake. I catch his face in his point that blank and I feel his face. Rest in peace to PA, man. Rest in peace to my nigga Jake, man. It's like that. I love my brothers, nigga. This facts right here. Autobiography of a real, real nigga, man. Pain, strength, everything. Let's get it. Next step.